So we'll hunger out on the tee, out in the grounds out here. Looks like McLarens are up in the front top up there. The crowd will uh, disperse as they go around here and they do their warm up. As per usual, we get late starts because the uh, in between every game is the presentations of the flag and the cup and of course medals to them. And of course for our viewers on this one, we have the home side which is Wollonga. Every 10 years you get a grand final. Wollonga are into the grand final and it's their 10th year into it so they have a home grand final. They are predominantly white with red and we'll find out which way they kick in a short period of time. And of course now the visitors who finished uh, on top at the end of the minor round was McLaren Districts and they are the dark navy blue with the yellow and red and they are just about to come out through their uh, crowd over there by the sounds. So Ian, we're going to wrap up here and hopefully this one here will uh, A grade should be a close game just like the reserves was really. Well, hopefully. I mean, these two sides haven't played each other for a few weeks. Um, first time they've met throughout the final series. Uh, when they did last meet, uh, Wollonga, it was at Wollonga, and Wollonga were victorious on that occasion. So, um, But we saw that uh, last a couple of weeks ago when McLaren played Maiponga, uh, that uh, Maiponga had uh, quite easily defeated them during the, the end of the minor, towards the end of the minor round. And then uh, McLaren, maybe they were just getting things right for the finals, tweaking things, few injuries that they left players out. Um, I'm not sure on the, the strength of the teams that day, but uh, Wollonga were considerable victors um, the last time they met, but I'm not sure how much we can read into that, Trev. No, no, it's pretty hard. Like I said, uh, yeah, McLaren's all year, they were undefeated last year. This year, until Willunga beat them here, they uh, were undefeated. So it started a ray loss of three games, I think, for the season for them. But uh, they did win games uh, just falling over the line when you thought they might have got rolled. So they've had a, a lot closer season this year. And like I said, but Willunga up and down like yo-yos. Uh, uh, the Reddens played out here and uh, when they beat McLaren's inflicted their first defeat for you know, what, 18 months or something, so your season and two thirds. And uh, of course, you know, they did that comfortably then, and uh, I think it's today's can have to be the same. It, uh, you won't be able to get a team that'll get a big break and think it's over with. Uh, the breeze has come up here a little bit, but it is pretty dominantly blowing across the ground now. So uh, we've seen probably more to the right of screen or going back towards the, the hills or Yankalilla down that area is uh, f more favoured for uh, getting the scores on the board and of course you know up uphill here slightly onto here is about halfway on the ground isn't it when you look at centre half forward it, it drops down there and uh, but up this top side is fairly flat so grounds in good condition so we expect everyone they're having a line up now for the anthem to be played and it shouldn't be too far longer before we get underway and I just noticed a couple of changes today, Trev. Uh, it looks like McLaren are pretty much unchanged from there. Well, from, they've got one change. Uh, Ashley Goodison has come out of the side, of course, um, suffering that serious injury in the second semi-final. And for Wollonga going out with last week, and come well, sorry, coming in this week is Jed Redden. So uh, one change from each team. For, looks from their from their last match. Yep. Yeah, it's pretty well, like I said, they're pretty stable as they go around. As they get set, the players are lined up across here, linked arms and everything else for the playing of the national anthem. So we won't be able to hear it over the screen here. And Jordan Mutton looks like the player for well, for uh, McLaren that has come into the side. Yeah. So yes. a long a stalwart there of the McLaren Football Club. Yeah, because I think McLaren's played a... Uh, Senior Colt, I think, last last week they played and uh, went over. So, yeah. And that was probably the same for Wollonga. Wollonga. Um, I can't think of his name. Yeah, was, I can't think of his name. Number 23 he was. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, he was the same. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, going up. So, yeah, it's sort of stabled out to there. But it'll be interesting to see how the uh, big-name players here uh, stand up. I would say that there'll be a bit of tagging from both sides on certain players and uh, trying to restrict them. But... Both these teams certainly like to get on with it and uh, I think it should be an open you know, slather game. It'll be the uh, fittest and the best one that can score 
straight and conservative, Lee will uh, turn around and uh, probably come out with the bickies. So, yeah, for uh, players broken now after the national anthem. So, uh, well, we're almost set for this one. The umpires uh, for this game are Jared Simister, Alex Kerr and uh, David Marks officiating uh, in the for the grand final. So... Let's hope uh, all goes well. We see a cracker of a game uh, and a, a well umpired game. Yeah, I think they'll find that they'll let it go and it'll float along there. So uh, react to what happens and uh, let yeah. everything go. That's that's, that's what you want. Exactly to... right. Let it play. Just play the real obvious ones and the first ones there. Bingo and do that, and it'll be good. But uh, no, they've done a good job. Boundary umpires and umpires all season. Uh, as per, you know, like clubs, numbers start to get down, injuries get on, none, you know, a lot of them are getting older and they get onto it, so it certainly uh, builds up. As looks like the players are coming in for the toss, so I'll keep an eye on it this time, Ian, <laughs> because see. you let me down last week. <laughs> I, I when look, I am umpiring, I, I, I sometimes forget who's yeah, on the toss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I noticed that. Oh, you I, caught, uh, caught me beautiful last week. I've so. had players come into the centre going, which way are we going? And I'm like... I don't ask know. your captain. <laughs> That's what I said, ask your captain. So the toss goes up. We wait for it to go. Yep, so it looks um, like McLaren Districts have won the toss there through Ellis and they will be kicking to the Adelaide end or for their uh, YouTube viewers, that is to the left of screen. And of course, Wollonga will go down the hill slightly from centre half forward down and they uh, kick to the right of screen. And for our radio listeners, that's the netball court and or down towards Yankalilla and uh, Aldinga way down that way. So so that's it to there. Players going through their final system and final setup. Good crowd here. It around. is a good crowd. There's, yep. uh, well, I mean, uh, it, there's only uh, four teams represented today and uh, Wollonga, McLaren... I've got six of uh, those teams out of uh, the three grades. They played each other in the junior colts, the B grade and the A grade. And uh, Waiponga and uh, Encounter Bay played each other in the senior colts. So um, it's it's almost a, a home a home and away game, isn't it? Uh, it with certainly a, is, yeah. But a, a lot bigger crowd, of course, than uh, I think uh, both towns um, have come out today to support their uh, their name. Their, their, well, probably... Some go to home grant games yeah. at McLaren and some go to home games at uh, Wollonga. There's a, a bit like in Victor Harbour where people will go to whatever game is, is at home. So that, I'm sure that probably happens around uh, here as well. So, But today uh, they've all come out and uh, perfect day uh, perfect day for out uh, being out and watching football and watching a, a grand final such as this. Yep, certainly are. We wait now as they start to break up. So... Nearly, well, it is, it's 10 to 3, so it gets underway later and later nowadays. But, uh, yeah, by the time they get through the additional time that comes out with the junior grades and with the presentations each way, it certainly eats into the day. So luck happens it's not a wet, miserable day because, uh, yeah, people wouldn't be uh, happy sitting around, but they're in the sunshine. And uh, I can advise the listeners out there that they've uh, ran out of... Uh, alcoholic drip beverages here but uh, don't worry they've shot off and get more restock so <laughs> so they're certainly busy on the canteen and in the bar area here so coming to the bench for Wollonga we have uh, Marcus Burdett uh, Scott Brown and the other player there looks like uh, Alex Bowley and for McLaren we can't actually see it's a little bit difficult to see down there but uh, we're almost ready for the uh, 2023 Great Southern Football League Grand Final. Certainly is. Kids once again have been told to get over the other side of the fence. It's the third time I've seen them walk around saying, please get behind the fence. We'd hate to see someone injured. So they've cleared that up there as the umpire holds the ball aloft here to get underway for the 23 Grand Final. Up in the air she goes, up they go, Bass goes up, tries to drag it out, can't, comes back down there, the crowd's into it already, and they turn around and go onto it. And it'll be another ball up by umpire David Marks, still in that centre circle. Up they go, pushed out there, Laurie tries to get out, smashed out there, goes out there, McLaren's quickly goes out, Ellis goes on, he gets met heavily, put down, goes up, takes a fair bit to put him over, comes back down. Picked up beautifully out there. Goes around there into Merritt. He round. Handball comes out. Handball goes back again. 
comes out the back way, goes up, steps inside McLaren Districts, goes up their centre half, up their full forward now, goes off, comes off hands, Mills gets a fist to it and she goes over the boundary in the forward pocket for a throw in with McLaren's into attack. Boundary umpire with it there, shouldn't be able to waste too much time getting it with a crowd around, they should be able to recover it for them if it goes out. In he comes, up and down it goes, goes up, turns around, goes out, Mills tries to get it out, comes back down, goes out, comes back to Mills, Mills drops it, comes straight around, goes out there to Malunga, goes out, comes over for Wasling, comes over to Altus, Altus wants to, sees the ball go over the boundary line and they're on the half-back flank. Far side of the club rooms, over there, get two club rooms here at Malunga. Up it goes, goes out, Bass tries to get over the back, comes out quickly, sock it off the ground, comes up quickly, Redden gets it, goes over, comes over quickly, drops the ball as it comes, comes back out there, ooh, winning under there, McLaren's, he gets put down by Aldis, and the umpire will have to come back in for a throw up on the 50 metre arc, still in Willunga's attacking zone. Just a warning going out there to... Uh, the uh, Rennie to get too close to the umpire on it, goes out, comes back out, McLaren tries to duck out, goes over, puts it over this, Ellis gets the ball, comes out, here come fumble, goes straight out to Laurie, Laurie drives the ball up full forward, that looks pretty good, umpire comes back, looks back in, goes over and... FPA, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FPA Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Plurio. They're in your field. What has been the non-scoring end so far today? As uh, Laurie gets the tap down after kicking that last goal. Breaking through was Redigola. He goes back to Laurie. He comes out uh, over there looking for a teammate. Can't find him. Ball on the ground. Coming in there was Rennie. Grab comes across here looking for Meagle and Meagle will mark on the halfback flank. He's uh, got players running for him out on the wing and Je Danny Jukers. Jukers marks right in front of the commentary box here at the McLaren Oval. Go, he'll go round onto his left boot. Not much to kick to. He'll go long down the line. He's got uh, Daniel Lee and Jed Redden down there as the targets. Comes to Jack Redden. He's well tackled by Daniel Ma. And we will have a, another ball up. Right on centre wing here at the Wollonga Oval. And Laurie gets a tap down there. Goes straight to uh, Todd McKay, that one is. And Todd McKay is well tackled by Rennie. And we'll have another ball up in exactly the same position. Bass and Laurie do battle again. Laurie winning the tap so far. But coming out there, player took a bit of a dive. Uh, well let go by the umpire. Comes back to Jack Redden. He goes down and a good mark up there in front of the pack to Jukas. Jukas goes around on his left boot to Basque. Hit, poor kick. Doesn't hit him on the chest. Makes him big fella bend down and he can't do it. Comes eventually to Ellis. Ellis gets a handball out here to... Coming across there from McLaren was Hopkins. Hopkins goes across to Moyle. Moyle goes out wide looking for Gill. Gill goes backwards and finds Bollenhagen with a handball. Bollenhagen gets on that left boot, goes long, almost inside 50. Ellison edges his man out of, under the ball. Oh, and then coming there, can't get a kick away with Scott. He was well tackled by Merritt, and Merritt will come up with a free kick. Probably just outside of the scoring range here, and goes short looking for Ellison and finds him on the chest now. He's almost on the, well, he's over the boundary line. The man on the mark, almost on the line. And at the Wollonga Oval, Trev, this one coming, kicking from downhill to, uh, or uphill to down, downhill is a pretty tough kick. And generally, it'll go across, the, he'll find it hard not for this one to go across the face of goal, unless he goes for the for check side. No, he's going with a drop punt. Comes in, keeps it low, and he's missed everything. And that has gone out of on the full. And coming in for Wollonga is McDonald, who will kick this one back in. Certainly is. Five and a half minutes gone. First quarter of the grand final for 23.
Comes back in. Now McDonald gets called play on. Drives this one right out. Outside the 50 now. Up and down it goes. Baskart gets it. Comes back down. Picked up beautifully out there by McKay. Goes out. Sorry, Daniel Maher. Maher goes off. Malunga coming back in. McLaren's go back further. They turn around. Goes up forward now. Out it comes. Over the top. Goes over to it. He gets wrapped up. Goes to ground. The umpire's looking at this. Turns around but he says, nah. Didn't really have an opportunity. And it'll turn around and they'll get up and give the ball back. So, Tregenza gets up, umpire goes up, Mills gets the ball out, comes around, turns around, gets her up up there, drops it all down onto there. Umpires look at this, no going nowhere. And he'll finish up with another ball up in that forward pocket. Still four. We've got there blood rule going on. So we've got the player coming off with uh, Claret down the nostrils. So in and under, he's running off, and the uh, player, of course, and I think another player, they might be just making an interchange while they do the crossovers, I think. So it goes over. So finishes up. You need to be careful of that because the blood rule comes out. But if you have made one without a blood rule on it, well, then uh, you don't get it. So umpire will see this going on. And so McLaren player comes running in now, and he's miles behind. Up in that forward pocket goes. Mills can't get it out. Comes back over. Comes straight out, goes up, hairball goes back, misses a target go. Comes out there to Lee, he can't get onto it. Goes out wider still, picked up beautifully out through there, and that one there is Hopkins. Hopkins from McLaren. Ellis slams it back in, up and down it goes. Umpire says play on, goes back out. Haskett gets it, goes over, goes up to Colwell. Colwell balks, comes back inside, drives his ball up, one handed punch goes out, goes over the back. Quicks out to Redden. Redden goes out wider. Goes straight out there over to Jukers. Jukers goes out. Turns around. Finishes all up. McLaren's picked all up. They go over there to Vandeleur. Vandeleur goes to Moyle. Moyle comes out and hits his partner out there in Leon Groves. Groves goes out wider now. Goes out in that wing. Finds his player out quickly out there in Hopkins. Hopkins. Made a bit of a meal of it. Comes back over the top. Comes back to Hopkins. Turns around, goes over, and that could, yep, untouched was a handball, and he couldn't get to it, and it will be a free kick. No, uh, not no, sure. yeah, the umpire would have had the whole arm, arm up, which means it was yep. untouched. So Haskett with the ball over there, loves the wing, gets around, drives off, drives this ball right up in the forward line now. Up goes there, man in front, grabs it out there, and that's McLaren's. Needs to get back off his mark. Turns around, gets over there comes off, he goes backwards, turns around, they're looking to go right back now, they've gone back for the back flank, back into the back pocket, goes out wide, just goes on the top, finds his player there and Todd McKay, McKay goes up, Haskett can't get to it, steps back over, slings oh. the player down, goes over the boundary line, and he turns around and it should be over the boundary line for a throw in. Strong tackle that one. Umpire says give it to the boundary umpire, Haskett does it, so big solid boy isn't he? So in comes the throw in. True wing position over there. Up they go. A bit short of the both the ruckman goes up. Quickly comes over to Redden. Redden goes forward. Over the back spills it. Can't take it. Jukers puts it out to Colwell. Colwell puts it over. Goes over quickly over there to Rennie. Rennie goes off. Drives into the forward lines. Turned around being hung onto there. And he turns around. Goes back. And it's a free kick there to Kiefer Zohar. McLaren's now into the back flank. Goes out there quickly to Vandeleur. Vandalore still in that back pocket. Goes off, looks inside. Everyone's just feeling themselves here. Only one scoreboard so far. Goes up the back flank. Over the back, can't get to it. There was Tregenza. Goes back up, handball goes out. And that should be everyone saying touched, but it's the umpire's decision that comes out to it. And the umpire agrees with them. So the boundary umpire gets it. The FBA scoreboard, we have one goal to McLaren Districts. Malunga yet to score in. As the ball comes back into play, the Ruckman wrestle again. Laurie comes down with the ball. He goes to Bollenhagen. He comes across to, uh, that was Charla. Charla can't find a teammate. Comes here. Oh, big bump there just as he got rid of that one. But uh, now winning the ball here, it looks like Redigolo for Wollonga, for McLaren. He comes to Mutton. Mutton goes around. Handball across comes to Ellis. Ellis breaks one. Wheels through another, goes for goal, and slots it. Second goal on the board to McLaren. 
Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA-made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding back and then hold on to it. They're always looking for that opportunity to move which you have to. So back in the centre. Once again, McLaren's got the start and against the end that normally is most of the scoring done. Comes out, tap forward, goes out quickly. Picked up there, handball goes out quickly through there. Max Gill goes over, finds his player rolling out there. Goes over and oh, slams that one into the post. And that goes through for a minor score. And uh, that could have been Relegolo, I reckon. Uh, Daniels. Daniels, was it? So, on the FBA scoreboard, two goals, one to McLaren Districts. Wollonga still yet to score. And uh, McDonald going to bring this one back in for Wollonga. Taking their time to well, try and settle things down here. A, a, a strong start from McLaren. So, Wollonga just need to get their hands on the ball here and uh, try and settle things down a little bit. McDonald goes out along to the outer side looking for Haskett out there comes Hamble smothered there by McLaren player comes across looking for Merritt umpire says not far enough Merritt puts the tackle on and the ball hits the deck and no one can get this out comes to uh, McKay for uh, comes across there back to that player was Moyle and the ball he is smothered off the boot and goes over the boundary line and out of play and will be thrown in in front of the Wollonga Football Club Social Club over there as uh, Shervington and Laurie goes up gets another tap down in front comes to Ellis Ellis gets a handball out looking for a teammate there in Charla Charla goes to pick it up he's tackled at the same time ball hits is on the ground that's going nowhere and the ball will be thrown up once again so as a fairly uh, scrappy start to this one with lots of lots of ball up so far as the ball comes out here to McLaren player in Fennerty. Fennerty can't find the the big sticks but puts it through for a point. Well, McLaren go to two goal two. Wollonga yet to score. Certainly is. Get to the ball now they go. Having trouble with a pen here so goes off, they come off, they bring the ball back in, come out the side here, they turn around found Hoke, Hoke for Willunga, goes off, finds him there and he finds his player in Redden, Redden steps inside, short kicks, finds Haskett in the centre, goes off, goes off in the lead, up and down it comes out and he finds his player out there in Dukas, goes off, he handballed off quickly over there to Scanlon, Scanlon goes out, goes out wide, two under one against here, McLaren's have done well here, holding it all up, so they turn around and they get a, a throw up on the forward flank, at least in when Wollonga's attacking zone. So, Marcus Burdett back on the ground now. Up they go. Can't get out with it. Comes out. Comes straight around to Haskett. Haskett breaks through. Puts it up to full forward. Up and down it goes. McLaren can't take it. Comes out quickly out through there in uh, Daniels. Daniels puts it all out to Zohar, he can't get to it, he turns around, they wrap it all up here on the flank here and they'll turn around, they get going and the umpire will have to come in for a ball up, so they both had a piece of it. So, forward flank, club room side, for Wollonga, badly need to make inroads here, time ticking away on it, up they go, turn around, Shervington tries to get it out, can't do it, kick comes out, doesn't go too far, gets tapped over the boundary line there, by um, Billy Daniel Ma, and she goes in for throw in right in front of the interchange here on the club room side. Boundary umpire with the ball now. Gets the OK, sets himself up. Good throw in, goes up, out they go. Laurie gets it out for him, comes out, held onto there was Willunga and comes around here quickly to Redden. Redden goes back. Probably if you're going to pick on him, Redden, you know he's always going to go short. He goes over and finds his player in Tregenza. Tregenza now gets goes up. Player comes in, so he had to back out. Following the play, he goes out and he finds Hoke out here on the forward flank. Hoke puts this ball up for Wollonga. Going up to full forward now. Over the back they go. Can't get out to it. Comes out. 
turns around, picks it all up, McLaren's tap it forward, comes out here to Meagle, goes over, out wide, goes straight out to McLaren's, McLaren's goes off out through there in uh, the player and he goes out wider still. Out in the forward flank and he finds Ellis. Ellis still on the back flank, they've had kicks, he goes up to the wing, bounces in front, comes in front of his player there in Groves. Groves puts the ball in, goes over and he finds his player in there in, in Daniel Maher. Maher goes forward, finds his player and that one out there is Tom Fennedy. Fennedy's going to have a shot so he's happy with the distance. Well the man on the mark's well inside 50 so doesn't look to be a lot of breeze out there at the moment and the, the flag here that's just to our, our right is showing that the breeze is going to the, the end that McLaren are kicking. Yeah, you see the flag the other side standing up pretty upright. Goes off, he puts this one up, looks like it's going to go on the skinny side. Turns around, umpire comes in, signals it that way, and it goes around to another minor score to McLaren Districts. They go to two goals three, Wollonga's still yet to score in. As Hoke kicks down the wing and squeezes one through and finds Jukers. Jukers goes short down the wing looking for Redden, Jed Redden that is. He can't take the mark. Coming... For Wollonga, McLaren player breaks a tackle, and that was Vandalua, but he was over the boundary line already. Boundary umpire called that one, and we will have a boundary throw in right almost on the right in front of the, the logo here on centre wing, the grand final logo painted on the ground here at the Wollonga Oval. As uh, coming Ellison into ruck now for McLaren, no one could get that tap down. Tregenza picks it up, he's tackled, and coming through there is that player was Hopkins for McLaren he's tackled and we'll have a ball up uh, almost where it was thrown in umpire gets on with it quickly tap down there by Bass he goes looking for uh, Altus Altus can't pick the ball up then puts the tackle on Ma and we will do it all again so uh, well Wollonga still looking to put that first score on the board Mc McLaren have a few scoring shots so far and have a handy lead at this stage of the game as Hutchins breaks through for Wollonga. Is this going to be their first score? He goes for goal and kicks it. That's uh, Wollonga's first goal on first score. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rob this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au in the centre as it goes, ball goes up, up they go, comes out through there, quickly out into there and uh, Cody Ellison. Ellison can't get the ball out again and it comes around and goes to Redigolo and he hands it back to the umpire for a repeat. Back in the centre, goes up, Bass gets up, played for it, the umpire said I'm not letting it, Redden gets it, he goes out for Wollonga, goes up onto the player, goes up the back flank, smacked out there, Colwell on the run goes for it, can't get into it. Smothered off the handball and goes over the boundary line for a throw in over on that forward flank, forward pocket area for Willunga. Turn around, 19 minutes gone in this first quarter. And it's been a game that we thought would be going. Backwards and forwards it goes, up it goes, over the back it goes, up and down. Turns around, picks it all up, he can't get rid of it. Umpire pings him, he goes for holding the ball. He turns around and says, I bet you were hanging on to my arm. He said, doesn't matter, you're not making an attempt. Bad luck, that's a good tackle. So, goes up, goes straight out here now, goes out there to Allison. Bollis, Ballison. He goes out, goes over, up the back, comes out onto the wing out here, almost the forward flank here for McLaren's. Up that club room side, and it goes up for another throw up. Up they go. Turn around, Bass walked back into it, couldn't get away with it. And uh, Cody Ellison comes over for McLaren's, goes out, quickly picked up through there in Max Gill. Max Gill spins it around, goes forward. Thump comes out by Wollonga, goes over, he flicks the ball out, goes up under there. His player goes over, and he turns around, and the umpire will turn around and say, a Throw in, he's standing it there. And it's come off the boot. McLaren's. Must have gone over the line on the fall, that one. Yep. 
McLaren player was Mac Matthew Merritt was screaming for it. The umpire was standing there and he said, it's up to the boundary umpire to make his decision. And uh, he did in conjunction with him and they both agreed. So this is that tight kick we talked about last time. Yeah, very hard with the drop punt, isn't it? Yep. As he lines up, he's looking inside a lot, so he's not overly confident. Just sits this one up, puts it all up. Looks pretty good. The umpire moves as the other did, and it goes over to there, and it finishes up for a, a minor score. So McLarens, have they kicked themselves out of this one a bit? Kicking up onto there. They go to two goals, four on the FBA scoreboard, to one straight goal to Wollonga. As Nearly we, 21 minutes gone. As we get set to restart this one from McDonald again. He goes long to the outer side out there looking for Bass. Bass in front, but he's got two McLaren players hanging over the top of him. They spoil him, and the ball comes down to a, a good tackle in the end by Bass. Comes throw up again. It comes across to McKay. McKay, he's well tackled. And we will have a yet another ball up, which has been the, the story of this first quarter so far. Lots of ball ups, very tight, contested match. No one know. Well, McLaren broke free early as the ball back into another pack, and we will have a, another ball up. Haven't seen much free flowing football um, at this stage of the game, but uh, I'm sure that uh, towards the end of the game we will see that the things open up a little bit as we've got another big tackle on there from McKay. Umpire letting it go, uh, nothing's going to come out of there and we'll do it all again. This will be the fourth ball up in about the last 40 seconds. So this ball stuck out there on the half forward flank for McLaren. As Ellison goes up, tries to get a tap down. McLaren, well under players wrapped up again and we'll have a, this will be the fifth ball up. Uh, yeah, in about early a time for a whistle, so isn't it? It's uh, well, the, the old rule used to be if there was three, three in a row, you'd try and open it up. But now it doesn't really. You just keep throwing, you just keep throwing it up, waste waste everyone's time. Yeah, As it, it comes down here, look, running onto it is Lee for Wollonga. He gets a handball across out there to Cowell. Cowell can get the panel on the ball, goes around onto the left, but there's no one home here for Wollonga. And that'll be an easy mark back there to the McLaren player. And that looks like that is cool. Jamie Smith back there on the halfback flank. Smith goes out wide and he kicks it straight back to where it, from whence it came. And that's Job Cowell. And uh, Cowell looking into the sun here goes long looking for Daniel Lee. He's got two players against him. Comes down there to Brown. Brown... Taps it out there to Jukas. Jukas goes into full forward. Hutchins here for Wilunga. Almost marked there by Laurie. Hamble comes across now. That's Smith for McLaren. He comes across and that is Green. Comes long and high out to the wing. But only as far as Lachlan Scott. He marks on the logos here at centre wing. Got players stationary in there looking for it. But goes short to Burdett. And Burdett marks in front of Charlie. Burdett will come short again to Mills. Yeah, well, Mills yeah, might go Haskett. here short again to Haskett, or has he got uh, no. McDonald running in, front in the of middle? Him, yep. No, he's going to go back. Well, short down the wing. This is a well. Jack Redden almost had a mark, almost marked that one, but gets it back. Hambles it out to Scott, and Scott will go short out here and finds Meagle. Meagle plays on to Hoke. Hope goes down long looking for Lee, but it's over his head. Well sport by the McLaren player and runs over the boundary line and out of bounds. So we're 24 minutes across this first quarter. We've only had three goals kicked, so there, there won't be a lot of time on in this quarter, Trev. No, you wouldn't think so. Boundary umpire with it, club room side, deep in the pocket there for Willunga. Throws it up. That's a good throw. Up they go. Out the back it comes. Comes over. Straight away to Willunga and he's missed that one. That was off the boot there of Rennie. Rennie missed it. And he turns around and finishes up for a minor score. Wollonga's first minor score. They go to 1-1 one, one to McLaren Districts on two goals, four. Back it comes back in. They kick in and find his player out there in Jackson Daniels. Jackson Daniels, club the club room side. Drives this ball up, puts it up high and wide. Comes over, over the back. They try to get into it there, which was uh, Ellison. Oh, that's, that is that is, this kick. is a card. We see the card coming out here for sure. That was just uncalled for, that and one. Th and he's not that was a very dangerous tackle, that one. Yeah. And uh, correct decisions being made. Yeah. Brandon Aldis is going to have a rest. And uh, 
he's lucky probably that it is only a yellow that the player did get up otherwise he'd probably be sitting for the rest of the grand final Trev. yeah yeah as i said it was a real toss and bang down that one <laughs> you can certainly see it on the screen so i read a goal out i could had it and we had the open view and oh, didn't look that good for me and the umpire got <laughs> right on it which and was good great decision there from the umpire 100 oh, percent um, right on at the three of them it goes so quickly goes out now to Moyle Moyle goes off for McLaren's goes out oh he dropped those easy ones out there in Stuart Green can't afford to do that as you go up over the head of Colwell it goes comes off the legs there and it goes over the boundary line for a boundary throw in out the far side on the forward flank for and we're under a player's down now for the next five minutes so and the sign uh, probably 30 so for the next four and a half minutes of the the second quarter they'll have to play with 17 men so that'll could be costly for them yeah it certainly will and as i said to go into it but uh yeah as we go out so quarter time here we have mclaren districts on two four to Wollonga on one goal one they certainly out so we'll have a wrap up here open the door so we get a fresh out wear in here this is 90.1 happy fm great southern footy match of the round on air and youtube let's talk about your new shed you want it tough you want it to look good you want it to last for years you want shed x flurio the experts in design and construct if you can dream the shed they can build the shed dream it design it build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au Memories of those special moments in life can sometimes fade over time. Preserve those special memories by having your old VHS tapes, movie films or slides transferred to DVD or USB. Phone Steve Adams Video Services now on 0403 744 or check out the weekly classified ad in the Flurio Sun. Steve Adams Video Services will also live stream weddings, funerals, conferences and seminars. In fact, any special event, Steve Adams Video Services for all things video. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies have over 40 years experience in mining and blending soils and organics. We're specialists in turf soils, landscaping and organic blends. Customised washed sands for horse arenas, sports grounds and building sands. We also have a large range of decorative stones, gravels, mulches and pine barks. From car trailers to all truckloads. Wholesale Quarry Direct. Mount Compass Quarry and Landscape Supplies. 86 Sandmine Road, Mount Compass. Open Monday to Friday, 7am to 4pm at Saturday. Saturday 7am to 11am. Phone 8556-8421. This time next week, uh, an AFL circle, uh, just the, the huge one. The, the grand final for 2023 that will be uh, viewed by many, many people and listened to many, many people right around the world as we celebrate the great game of uh, Australia Rules footy. If you're uh, late to join us this afternoon, you've got us on the radio naturally, but our YouTube service is available from our website, and the link is via uh, 
happyfm.org.au happyfm.org.au just look for the AFL footy tab there and uh, from there just follow the prompts and get on to our telecast with uh, Tom Clemens, Trevor Pryor and uh, Kevin Curran and, uh, uh, and, and Egan Curran of course Kevin's doing the halftime hub today special guest is our former president of the great Southern Footy League Terry Corkin so an action packed afternoon of uh, entertainment in terms of interviews and the footy action from Wollonga Rec Centre when you're ready four minutes past three now it's back to Wollonga Rec Centre and Trevor Pryor Thank you very much for that, Ian. Yep, crowd starting to break up here. Uh, quarter time score is McLaren Districts 2-4, Wollonga 1-1 on their FPA scoreboard. Goal kickers for Wollonga was Cameron Hutchins. And of course for uh, McLaren Districts we had Brett Ellis and Sam Laurie. So the crowd starting to break up. They're going at all points here. And certainly a, a big crowd going through with it. So. And she's warm, we have to have the door closed here so that the noise was not coming in too much because there's a big crowd around us and uh, of course it gets uh, quite warm in here so we're certainly going to enjoy uh, the half time break That's here. Cause we can I get might out. drop a couple of kilos yeah. today Drew. <laughs> you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, but uh, yeah, we won't even get time to get any cold refreshments from the bar or anything over there because there's too much of a crowd That's around us. <laughs> So here we are now, almost ready to get underway here for the second quarter. Here at the Wollonga Oval, bathed in sunshine. They turn around, that first quarter went for 26 minutes. And it said there was only three goals scored, so. Of course, Wollonga a man down at the start of this quarter for the, the next uh, nearly five minutes. Yeah. that tackle we saw. Yeah, he probably was only, wouldn't have been been off for a minute, would he, so comes out has to go into the next time on and the umpire throws the ball aloft up they go bass comes out with it goes over the back comes straight out haskett gets it he gets wrapped up and the turn around said by ellis and also there in uh, todd mckay and their little midgets compared to haskett and up they go up they go laurie goes up bass gets it comes back down mclaren goes out straight away it goes out through into there and hutchins hutchin goes out to haskett haskett patches forward to colwell colwell goes over gets over there picks up his player there and redden redden goes forward goes over bounce comes back and uh, turns around and the keeper zohar gets the ball takes it through for a minor score so as it goes on the Scoreboard there to uh, to Wollonga. They go to one goal two to two four two in McLaren on the FPX scoreboard. Uh, I think it's Smith bringing it in here for McLaren. Comes Bass gets the tap down. Comes to a McLaren player. He's well tackled by both Bass and Shervington. He's going nowhere, and the umpire will come in and uh, ball it up. Gets on with it quickly. Shervington gets a tap down. Rennie almost tackled without the ball there. Couldn't grab it. Um, but the umpire says there's not enough in that one to uh, to pay a free kick and we'll have a throw in here right in front of the commentary box here at the Wallunga well, Oval. Throw in there, comes in. Yeah, umpire says that Shervington's pushed his man out and we've got a free kick here to Laurie on the halfback flank. He plays on here and this player here come for Smith for well, uh, McLaren is Smith. Smith comes across to Gill. And uh, Gill, still in the same position uh, here. He goes short, out wide, and over the head of Redden. And a good mark there to Redigolo. So uh, Redigolo on the halfback flank. He goes short across the ground and finds Gill. Gill, we haven't, they have, they've had about five kicks here and haven't moved it very far. Goes out in the wing looking for Ellison. Ball comes over the back of the pack. Well picked up there by Rennie, and uh, he puts his head over the ball. Umpire says he was grabbed high, and oh. we've got a... Oh, uh, no, we've, we're going the other way yeah. here. Was, it, was there a reversal of a free yep. kick there? Yep, Retaliated. So we've got a free kick here to Fennedy. Fennedy goes down long. Coming out there was Scott. He comes across to Bass. Uh, ball comes out now here to Daniel Maher. Did he get a handle there? Umpire says yes. Comes across to Burdett. And Burdett finds a teammate Haskett. there in Haskett. Haskett comes across to Jack Redden, who's been everywhere so far. Just keeps running and running. His kick hits the bootlaces of Lee and uh, overruns the ball. Puts a tackle on his opponent. Comes here to Vandalua. He goes back down the wing. Out wide. 
Haskett tried to mark that one. Maybe he would have been better off letting it hit the ground and run out of bounds. But uh, not a natural instinct, is it, Trev? No. So you want to try and attack the ball, and that's what uh, Haskett did and went over the boundary line with the ball, and we'll have a, a throw in here on the half-forward flank for McLaren. Ball well thrown in there. Laurie up in front. Uh, ball comes down here, and we'll run... Oh, Bollenhagen will run that over the boundary line and out of play, and the ball we will be thrown back in again. And a uh, tight start to this uh, second quarter. Both teams still feeling each other out. And uh, currently an eight-point lead here to the McLaren side. As Bollenhagen gets it, goes over the head of his teammate there in Moyle. And running onto it was Scott for Wollonga. And he's content to run that one over the boundary line. What much else he could do when you're, you're that close to the line. And took it back over the line. The ball will be thrown in once again. And Bass and Laurie do battle. It comes here. Oh, there's a big tackle there. And that one was on uh, Redigolo. I reckon that was Redden. And uh, Redigolo in front there. And, well, um, Redden rode him into the ground. Uh, umpire comes up with a free kick. And Redigolo will go back now and try and put the first score of this second quarter on the board as we pass over four minutes into this one. Comes in, crosses 50, called to play on, can't make the distance here. And out in front there, that's Ellison, taking a big mark here for McLaren. He'll go back from point blank range and should put McLaren's third goal on the board. I've put this one in the book already, Trev. Okay, well done. I'll shut if, it was Johnny, if it was uh, Johnny Butcher, I might think twice. But, oh, well, uh, you wouldn't have even thought about putting <laughs> it in the book. Beautiful kick. Comes through, straight through the middle. Third goal on the board for McLaren. They go to three goals. Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA-made bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. It's uh, not a dangerous score or a way out, so only a couple of goals. So the ball back in the centre. Up she goes, puts it around there. Bass goes up, takes it out. Then he tries to kick it, but he can't. Goes over there, gets wrapped up over there. And that one there is Todd McKay. And uh, umpire has to come back in once again. David Marks with it, throws the ball up. Puts it all out. Bass goes over the top of Laurie. Comes out. Gets on the ground. Playing itchy kutchies between there. I reckon it's a good time to tie the boot laces there and you get away with that one. <laughs> they turn around. So goes back to the umpire again. Still in that centre circle. Goes up. Umpire players wrestle themselves. Goes up. Ellis comes out. Here comes. Goes over. He goes up. He grabs Haskett and he wraps him up and puts it down in a race. So it'll repeat once again. Haskett hands it back to the umpire. David Marks with it. Up she goes. Goes around. Laurie gets up. Haskett comes over the top. Then he reads it again. Then he breaks away. Then he takes on. Goes out wide. Handball's away. Wasn't a good one. Goes out to Colwell. And we got and a free kick for a dangerous kick. tackle. Yep. Just pulled him around. Yeah, when you got someone by the jumper, you can't just slam them into the ground yeah, like 1980 style, can you? No, Trev? but unfortunately, <laughs> the steamroller like Haskett coming through when he got hold of his jumper, you just go with him. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that was the trouble. The player was uh, dragged along with him and just tried to uh, hang out at the end. But uh, yeah, but uh, no, brought him down and uh, Haskett sucking him in though. He's got a boot on him, so you know, the, I reckon he can get the distance. Well, he's kicking with the br what breeze there is. Yeah, as he comes in, puts this ball up. He steps just on the 50, goes up, puts it all up, hangs it up wide, hangs it up high, goes skinny, Ooh. hits the post, and he goes through for a minor score only. So time, Wollonga now has to go off. They go to one goal, three on the FBA scoreboard, three goals, four to McLaren Districts. As Moyle kicks it into Zohar, still deep in the back pocket here in front of the uh, the new electronic scoreboard here at the Wollonga Oval. Zohar gets on the left boot, goes, kicks it outside of 50. And back up there for Wollonga in front was McDonald, and he takes a strong mark and would drive this one back into the scoring zone for Wollonga. 
Here goes looking for red and there's only blue and gold, blue and red jumpers there. Comes here to that player was Ma. Ma is well tackled and we'll have a ball up right in the goal square here at uh, the well attacking end for Wollonga at the scoreboard end. Umpire gets on with it, throws the ball up. Shervington gets a tap down there but can't. Uh, rushing the ball there through for one behind was McKay for McLaren. And uh, Wollonga had a one goal four. 12 points behind McLaren, three goal four on the FPX scoreboard. Certainly is quickly brought in there now. Coming out club room side, drives it out over the back. Mills tries to get to it, gets a fist, comes off, comes underneath and goes over the boundary line on the back flank here for a boundary throw in. So round they come now. And the umpire with it, puts it all in, a little bit short, goes up, Laurie gets it up, comes out there, goes back over, goes over, Renegolo mm. got away, Ellis goes, is in the back there and a free kick to Renegolo. We well, did get it. Oh, out that's there. 25, the umpire wasn't watching. Meagle hands it to Ellis and Ellis kicks it back and the umpire wasn't watching. <laughs> You've supposed got to give it back to the player, not just a player. Redigolo drives this one up to the wing, club room side, up and down, Laurie can't get it, Redden gets it, goes back out, comes back to Redigolo, now he plays on, drives out, goes back into the centre, finds his player out there, deep out there, and that goes around there to Fennedy. Tom Fennedy goes out, goes over, out wide, can't get to it there is Green, Green gets off over into it, comes over, almost a smother off the boot there, goes out wide, and it goes over untouched, and it'll be a free kick out here to... Uh, Joel Vandeleur. So Vandeleur on the back flank, comes off, comes back inside, goes out and he finds Zohar. Zohar back in the back flank, drives off, puts it back on where it come, goes out wide and he finds out and he finds Green. He's still on the back flank, repelling out this attack from Wollonga. Goes out, up the one, body work goes up onto there. How, uh, Burdett can't get to it, he picks it all up, he gets wrapped up, he turns around, tries to get wrap out to it, and it's on the uh, true wing position over there in the uh, clubhouse side for a, another throw up. Up she goes, goes around, backhanded by Laurie, goes out wide, comes over quickly, gets around there to Zuka, Zooks can't get out to it, goes over and it finds the Moyle, Moyle in the... <coughs> McLaren's one, he comes in, finds Ellis, Ellis still on that back flank, goes off in there, whoo, down low, but he finds his player just in Leon Groves, Groves now, with the ball, plays off, puts it in, goes up in the centre, half forward, over the back, goes out, there's the body work, comes out here, and comes around here into Mutton, Mutton, so Mutton now gets to line himself up, He's going to kick uh, the players, I reckon it's probably on the 50 or only just in, so he's going to be kicking from outside the 50. Comes in, he is there full forward, so he goes off into it, see Mills on the mark there, Mutton comes in, takes it right on the 50, puts the ball up, gets hold of the umpire, looks at it, he looks happy, touched he says, so Mutton missed out on that one, goes through for a minor score only, they go to Two goals, five on the FPA scoreboard to one goal, four for Wollonga. And Wollonga will bring this one back into play. Player down there has been McDonald doing the kicking duties for Wollonga early on. Comes wide right down to centre wing. Ball comes to a contest. Coming over the back here, Lee tries to run onto that one. He's well attacked by Moyle who eventually the ball comes out to Daniels. He runs away from Bass. He goes down and can't find a teammate there. He can now. Gill makes the most of it. Kicks it in towards goal. And being pushed under that one was the McLaren player. Comes across and we've got a mark here to Charlie. Umpire it says it hasn't gone far enough or it was touched. And we will have a ball up here in the forward pocket for McLaren. Deep in attack here. We've gone across 12 and a half minutes of the second quarter. Ball gets tapped down by Bass. McLaren, well under player, well tackled. Ball, umpire will come in once again and we will have a ball up in exactly the same position. So uh, McLaren again doing most of the attacking in, in this second quarter. 
and have the only goal on the board so far of this quarter. Ball tapped down here to Groves. Groves gets a kick up in the air over the boundary line and out of bounds. And that one's on the full. No decision to be made there. And Walunga will bring it in here through Brown. I Brown. I no, no, it's called the other player no, back over. Scott will take it, I reckon, now for yep. Walunga. So Scott will bring this one in front of that beautiful picket white picket fence there at the, at the Wollonga Oval. Comes down wide uh, looking for Bass and Sherrington. Neither of them can get near the ball. Comes across here to Wollonga player diving on top of the ball there. How will the umpire see this yeah. one? He said that uh, he was tackled and uh, didn't dive on it, didn't drag it in. And we'll have a ball up here and you get on with it quickly as... Uh, Laurie wins that one down. Comes across to Scott. He's pursued by. Uh, comes across here to Vandalua. He whoa. He almost had his head over the ball, but coming in was Haskett, and a good contest there. Comes out here to Hopkins. Hopkins' kick is smothered. Comes across n here near. Aldis is back on, isn't it? Yeah, Aldis is back on, and uh, ball comes to players. Stacks on the mill, and we'll have a, another ball up. And up again is Bass and now Ellison into the ruck for McLaren. And player well tackled there by Haskett. Ball spills out and umpire says no prior opportunity. And uh, ball spinning around on the ground here and will come in and have another ball up. So this has been the, the pattern, hasn't it, Trev? So Certainly far has. a couple of little pieces of play and then the ball, we've just seen ball up after ball up as the ball's in the middle again here. And... Uh, Bass gets a tap down, tries to get that one out a bit further so Haskett can run onto it. Taps it forward and uh, kind of claiming he was getting held onto but ended up with Vandalua. He kicks it down and a good mark taken there by Merritt. Umpire calls play on, he plays on. And comes in, can't find a player there in Charla. Comes here to the ball. play. <laughs> Mutton was uh, uh, claiming he got uh, held onto but... Uh, We've got a free kick, downfield free kick here to Alunga, and that'll be taken by Rennie. He goes long to centre half forward. Jed Redden out in front, gets one, can't take a second grab, but the umpire says he was infringed, and we'll have a free kick here to Alunga. He plays on, and that was a, a very uh, late bump here, and we'll have a, this point should be counted, and the free kick should be off on the kickoff line. So... I'm not sure whether we're going to count, no. but gee, that was a late bump, wasn't it? That yeah. was just silly stuff. And uh, the umpire's conferring with him too to say, like, when did you pay this? Because, uh, and that's the rule now. The rule is now that it's uh, when it goes through like that that the free kick is on the kickoff line. So correct call. Yeah, but I mean for the first point to be paid. For the first point to be paid. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels, and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tire retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Yes, we have ourselves at the nearly 16 and a half minute mark. Ball back in the centre, so it tightens up just that little bit more. Up they go, comes out, Wollonga, get it out through there, quickly out there in Shervington. Comes out, comes over the now to McLaren's trying to get it out the centre. They can't get to it, and the umpire will have to come in for another ball up, still in that centre circle. So, up she goes now, goes around, goes over, Shervington can't get it, comes out to Wollonga, they try to get in, Bowley, Bowley gets wrapped up. He turns around and will be a repeat once again. Still in that centre circle. Up she goes there, goes out there, comes over top, quickly out through there in Ellison for McLaren's. Goes out, goes forward now, up they go. Mills pushes it out, turns around, comes over onto there. Turns around, Mills comes back, he gets grabbed over it. Comes out to Charla, Charla's bouncing around, can't get to it. He runs into the player, gets spread over, and he turns around, both Charla boys there, and they turn around and be a ball up now in the full forward position for McLaren Districts. 
up they go, goes over, up they turn, comes out to it, gets over the top, goes over, quickly picked up there by McLaren's, that turn around goes in, Daniel Ma, Daniel Ma there, goal stands there. He Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over, let's rob this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au FPA scoreboard. Ball back in the middle now. And, uh, well, McLaren just... Uh, rep uh, anything Wollonga can do, they can do better at this point in time. Ball comes here to Ma. Ma goes down long, looking for Merritt. Merritt uh, out in front, but can't take the mark. Comes back to Ma. He ta handles it across here. Looks like Groves, that one was. Comes across now to Charla. And ball players going in. And we've got a free kick here to Wollonga. And they'll be taken Bowley. by Burdett, I think, or Bowley. Bowley comes out wide and goes to Brown. Brown now goes across and finds McDonald. And McDonald on the centre wing here at the, uh, the change room side at the, at the Wollonga Oval. He goes short down the wing looking for Redden. Duke is up in front, almost oh, takes him up. It. Hits, ends up hitting Hopkins on the chest. He wasn't expecting it. That picks it up and kicks it across to Redigolo. Redigolo goes to Vandalua, shields his eyes from the sun. He goes short in the middle here oh, to Groves. Short. Can't find him on the full, but does well. Picks it up. Comes across now looking for Hop, uh, Daniels. Daniels breaks away from Cowell. Goes check side. And out in front here for Wollonga was Mills, but picked up by Brown. He goes around the corner and back out wide there. And Bollenhagen in front. Plays on, on that left boot, goes deep into attack, out too deep, full. and that one's going to go out on the full, and uh, I reckon that's Brown down there for Wollonga, will kick this one back into play. So we've almost, we've gone 20 minutes of this second quarter as Brown goes across to McDonald. McDonald out wide looking for Bowley. Bowley in front there, well spoilt, and the ball rolls over the boundary line and out of play. And we're uh, all heading into time on of this second quarter as the ball's thrown in down there on the half forward flank for McLaren. Umpire throws it in, players shielding their eyes from the sun, which is. Uh, ball comes out here to McLaren. He's well tapped. I oh, know we've got a free okay. kick here okay, to so McLaren. Yeah, to Mar. Umpire says it was too high. And looked like he was pushed out a bit, but yeah. Yeah, Ma will go back from a uh, player on the mark is just inside the 50 metre arc. So we have to kick this one a good uh, 45, 50 metres to score and be a be pretty tough kick, I would think. But he's going back like he thinks he can get the distance. And uh, Ma comes in on the off the logo here on the wing. Takes a few steps. Comes in. Crosses the 50 metre arc. It's a nice looking kick. It's going to drift right or drift left and go over the line for what one behind. So McLaren, they go to four goal six. Wollonga, two goal fourth. 14 point lead to McLaren on the FPA scoreboard. So it is. Wollonga bring the ball straight back in. Looking for Bass out here on the wing. Comes over, comes over to Jugas. Jugas gets up, goes to Aldis. Aldis spins it around, puts it over, goes as far as Moyle. Moyle puts the ball over, goes straight over to Vandalur, goes back here straight away into uh, Moyle again, goes around and he turns around and goes off and he finds this big ruckman in uh, Laurie. Laurie gets told to play on, drives a boot, so he should do more than handball all the time, goes up that forward line, Charla comes off, there's one too high, there's a free kick out there going over there into the hands there of Cameron Hutchins. Hutchins goes out wide and he finds Colwell. Colwell out there, comes back inside, turn around, finds his player out there in Rennie. Rennie looks on the mark, he's turned around asking for something but there's no, no way he's over. So now he gets called play on, drives this ball up, up in the forward pocket, over they go, Daniels goes up, can't get it, Moyle comes out, he gets wrapped up, drives into it, he Umpire's gets going to play holding the ball there. He does. And uh, probably a good decision. He saw the players in front of him and thought, oh, I'll jump in the air and they'll tackle me. And, of course, made no effort. And uh, 
and a good decision by the umpire. He could see it coming and thought, if I get wrapped by a two here, I'll get away with this one, but he didn't. So, this could be costly for McLaren's. We roll up there now to Jed Redden, isn't it? 18. Yep. Drives off, hangs it in. Umpire's not moving. He comes back. Wait for him. End the intercom. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, they're in your field. So, uh, well, Wollonga just hanging in there at the moment, aren't they? They just keep pegging them back each time. But uh, so far, it's any time Wollonga's done something, McLaren has uh, fought back straight away as they try and get this one out the middle. Comes to Haskett. He goes back inside 50, looking for Redden. Redden can't get that one there and pursued by Zohar. Comes out to Cowell. Cowell comes around the corner here from Rennie. Comes to Lee. Lee gets it back to Altus. Aldis can't get that one off the ground. Well done by Zohar there. Comes out and eventually ends up with Vandalur with a kick around the corner and finds Ellis. Ellis breaks away from one opponent. Gets tackled by another. Has a bounce. Hambles over the top here to oh, Hopkins. Hopkins him. gets tackled. Oh, a big bump oh, there by Haskett. That was a head on. And uh, Plaid, not sure what's going on here. And Plaid Lee drops the mark. Comes out here to Cowell. Cowell misses. Chance there, big chance there for Wollonga. Big bump from from Haskett. Yeah. And uh, that one, Mc Wollonga end up with one behind. They got a three goal five, trailing McLaren four goal six on the FPA scoreboard. Yeah, it looked bad as Has Haskett hit him. His elbow come up and it looked like it was head contact. So umpires in, Pickett, so on we go with it. They, they come straight up there. Comes right up Free in the centre of the field, goes out to... So, so, oh, what was that one? So the player was from behind and pushed him out. So he goes up there, goes right out there now. Fist comes from behind, goes straight over, comes around here to Bollenhagen. He goes over and finds his player right on the true wing position over the far side of the ground from us. Groves. Groves puts this ball back up now. Goes right in the forward, over the back, goes over. Quickly picked up there. Goes over, drives forward. That's not a good kick we're going on to there. Into your forward lines and you kick it out of bounds. So it drives it over. So Hope with the ball now. Goes over. Here comes in. Finds his player quickly there in Tregenza. So Walunga with the ball now. Still in that back flank. Back pocket really. They go backwards now. They turn around. They find themselves in Hope. Hope comes out the far side now. Goes out wide. Finds his player out there, but they've gone straight across the face and they've made no inroads into the ground. He goes back again. So he goes back over there. Fingertips, drops it, turns around. Player wasn't up there. Goes, goes off in there. And it's marked in the other back pocket here by Wollonga. Drives off now. Now comes out the back flank. Up they go. Turns around, goes up and down. Comes into it. Turns around. Laurie tries to come into it. Goes back out. Ellis gets it. Ellis will make a good meal of this one. Goes forward. Looks pretty good. There it is. Steady foot. Not male medalist for that reason. Memories of those special moments in life can sometimes fade over time. Preserve those special memories by having your old VHS tapes, movie films or slides transferred to DVD or USB. Phone Steve Adams Video Services now on 0403 744 or check out the weekly classified ad in the Flurio Sun. Steve Adams Video Services will also live stream weddings, funerals, conferences and seminars. In fact, any special event. Steve Adams Video Services for all things video. Quick kick out the middle here. Yeah, I think there'll probably be two minutes because it's a 26 the first and we've had a couple more goals. And the ball goes up in the middle and uh, Laurie gets a tap down there, jumps out high up over Bass and Bass ends up putting the tackle on and the umpire will come in and ball it up as uh, they do battle again in the middle. Laurie and Bass had a good battle all day yes, as knows. the siren goes for half time of the 2023 Grand F Great Southern Football League Grand Final. And we have at half time McLaren 5 goal 6, 36, Wollonga 3 goal 5, 23. So a 13 point lead to the McLaren Districts Football Club at half time of this one, Trev. So, yes, we'll give a wrap up so as we can get into the half time hub. 
This is 90.1 Happy FM Great Southern Footy Match of the Round on air and YouTube. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Flurio. They're in your field. Happy FM's Half Time Hub, brought to you by FP Ag. We're in your field. Today, for the last time for this year, and today our guest is Terry Corcoran. I haven't Kevin seen Harry. him for a couple of years. No, couple of years. Well, I've been around, as you Saw know. Saw a lot of him before that. But, yeah, uh, yeah, anyway, right. welcome along, Thanks, Terry. Thanks, um, Pleasure. We wanted to see what you're doing nowadays. A uh, lot less than I've been doing the last four years, but uh, mm. now I'm now with uh, what you remember as the uh, Regional Advisory Football uh, Committee for the leagues uh, mm. for Sandville. And they've changed that this year to be called now the Country Zone Committees. Yeah. And our, our role is basically to look after the eight zones, uh, that's the eight league football clubs outside of Port Adelaide and the, the Crows, the Sandford clubs, and uh, the, their, their zones. And our zone, of course, is the Southern District Zone, yeah. uh, including Great Southern, Southern and Kangaroo Island. So we look after the player apps and player payments uh, uh, decisions and so forth, as well as the, uh, the, the um, country championships. Oh, so you look after them, do you? Well, not me personally, well, not yet, the, the group of the committee. The group, yeah, group on the yeah, committee. Yeah, so. we advisory, advisory to the mm. uh, country's own committee. Yeah. What's this a, uh, a committee that lasts for how many years? A uh, three-year term, and uh, uh, so I've, I'm up for another couple of years unless they sack me. Mm. And uh, it, it's three lots of three years, a bit like uh, being on the commission. You know, mm. You're allowed uh, nine years in total, but... Uh, uh, basically, every, every term is three-year term. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you get a three-year term, and yep. out of that, you see how you go for the three years, and who who votes you in? Uh, well, the central. Uh, central. Yeah, I have to apply like any other job, I suppose, and uh, yeah. central central uh, take the, the probably the best, and I must have been the only one, I suppose, that applied. <laughs> But no. Anyone silly enough? <laughs> yeah, but I, it keeps me involved, Kevin, as you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot less stress as far as the, the presidency role. And I, look, I think mm -hmm. the uh, league's in very good nick with Grant Levy and his team now. It's a younger team, and you and I are the old boys. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that it's in pretty good hands. Well, we're out, we're on ourselves out. We inside walk, I think, here. I think, I think, yeah, I think, yeah, a little bit of a sweat box here. I think you must get paid well. Um, yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. But no, that, that keeps me busy, mate, and uh, I enjoy it. It keeps me involved with the clubs, uh, and, you know, I sort of help out uh, where I can. And the football operations uh, 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 coordinator, um, they don't have one for Great Southern, but the other leagues are pretty much taking that, and that person looks after. He's the sort of go-to person for the uh, league clubs if they have any problems. Mm. 
and he refers to me on a few things as well. So other than that, what else do you do, Terry? I just enjoy watching uh, Glenelg play on some Saturdays. And, uh, and what about tomorrow? Tomorrow, I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be, mm -hmm. and my wife Lorraine's coming as well, and uh, we'll be there. We've, I've been lucky enough to get invited to the luncheon. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the Bays win. Uh, against Sturt, uh, be the first time we've beaten Sturt in the grand final. We haven't done it yet. Really? But we, yeah, we we lost one in '74 when I was around the club. But yeah, no. It's so a, they haven't won beaten you. No, we played in our grand finals. We played Port Adelaide a couple of times, and we played uh, North Adelaide a couple of times. So yeah. so it's been uh, this is the first time Glenelg with Sturt have bit in a. Well, it's not the first time. We in '74 we played Sturt, and they, they won that uh, the first game at Footy Park. Well, I mean, it's interesting, isn't it, that Glen Elg were down and out a few years ago. And well, they're running around rattling tins trying yeah, to get yeah, some money. Yeah. Nick Tim Wigan did a fantastic job here in his committee and uh, they saved the club big time. Mm, so, and yet South Adelaide, that haven't won a grand final since 1964 yeah, and sad. don't look like they won. Well, um, yeah. I mean, you know, you, you, you Barricking for something that's not going to happen, aren't you? Well, I, mean, I, I followed South yeah, Bournemouth. I mean, it's, a, it's a little bit like being a St Kilda supporter, isn't it? You know, and uh, you know, it's a case of, I mean, as a as a kid, I grew up with Glenelg. Not we used to go to the game and wonder how much we get beaten by. So, yeah, yeah. So the, the circle turns, and, and you know, well, yeah, it turns, but it yeah. turns very slowly, doesn't yeah, it? It does. It does yeah. but, but anyway, look, we have to see what happens there. Uh, the zone championships, Terry, you yeah. a bit involved with that again? Yeah, I, I tended, in my last duty as president uh, last year, I uh, put the tender in for this, uh, last year's, well, sorry, this year's and next year's. Uh, we didn't get, uh, I thought it would be nice to have it for the centenary, but we didn't get it. And that's okay, we, we went to the Barossa Valley and that was, that was quite successful. Um, but we uh, retended re again for, tw uh, for 24 and 25. And we've just been awarded the 24. So next year we'll be at Victor Harbour and the Canter Bay games. Uh, games will be played there again. Uh, we'll be moving it back to the original date of the 11th and you know, about the 11th and 12th. It was a week earlier than normal uh, this year, but uh, we've just decided we we'll, we'll haven't finalised it yet. But it's been suggested to the league that it goes back to the uh, original date, so around about the 12th, 13th of uh, July. Mm, that would have been school holidays. Yeah, a while ago, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think. Yeah. And so, uh, and it'll be here. And we did such well, you know, so well the uh, last one, which was basically uh, one of their best that they had. It, I think I think it went to the the, uh, uh, the people who cracked the uh, do all the sums and so forth. About a 1.25 million dollar benefit to the Fleurieu Peninsula area, and uh, that's the benefit of this country championships. It brings a lot of people to the area, obviously accommodation and food and, and so forth, and uh, it, uh, it puts us on the map a bit, so it's, it's, an, it's a bit of a, a feather in the cap of the Great Southern Footy League to get this one as well. Well, I must ask you the question, we, we get asked mm -hmm. a lot of the time, Terry, they say, how come that uh, country championships, and yet the highlight of the day seems to be the two uh, local SNFL team, well, yeah, teams yeah, playing yeah. each other? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, and what they do now is the, the, the zone team, in other words, this year it was North Adelaide played the Adelaide Crows, uh, Sample side, and next year it'll be South Adelaide hosting as well, and they'll probably be looking at another side, not the Crows, because the Crows aren't a big uh, crowd drawer anyway. But I think the country championships, uh, it's, it's a bit of an icing on the top. I think 90% of the people that go there really go there for the country championships. Mm. So it's a bit of a feather in the cap and it helps with finance for the actual running of the championships. So as much as, and I think it works, it's working quite well now. We had a combination, they've changed it a couple of times where we had to play at night in the first year it happened and that was not good because no one watched the game basically. Yeah. Uh, this year it was, uh, and down at uh, uh, Victor Harbour two, two years ago, it was, it was done pretty well in the sense that uh, there was no night games and uh, it also brought a good, good part of the crowd which helped with finances across the gate. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's one of those things, it is still a country championship and it is still the main focus of most of the supporters that go mm -hmm. there. Oh, well, when you get asked all the time, I mean, yeah. when there's money gets put into it, I mean, it's not something that's done for nothing. Well, yeah, it's not uh, free. You know, we've been very lucky with the city of you know, uh, Victor Harbour, uh, uh, Victoria McCurdy and her team there have been fantastic. Um, and they've this year they've uh, bequested $55,000 worth of support to it, which mm. is a lot of money, but uh, it does bring a lot to the, to the council area. 
uh, as far as uh, looking after the patrons of the, the hotels, the, the motels and the uh, eating houses. So well, It's the right time of the year for it. Though. Perfect for them because they don't have a lot on in July. In yeah, Harbour. that's right. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not the best of weather. No, it that's one of the advantages. Harbour, is it? No, it's one of the advantages we have by having it in July because it's a bit of a dead month for, yeah. for, for the tourist side of it in Victor Harbour. But, uh, no, I, I think I think we'd be, you know, if we get blessed with weather like this, and we were very blessed in in the uh, last championships we had down at uh, Victor Harbour, the weather was like this as the well. The weather was magnificent. And you couldn't ask for a better day for football, yeah. um, uh, as long as you're not inside this caravan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to spend all day in here, do you, if you could help it. Yeah. But anyway, no, it's, it's good to hear that, you've answered those questions. Now, you're with the SANFL, yep. what's this business of coming along now with SANFL are looking at changing clubs? Within leagues, you know that. Uh, uh, well, that's at uh, my pay rate, and it's not nothing that we discuss. Mm -hmm. um, you changing the zones or changing clubs in within the league? We're like changing the clubs within the leagues. You know, like they're like, doing this down like in the South East, aren't they? Yeah, I think that's been forced upon them because of the COVID situation, especially Western Border League. I mean, Western Border League used to be obviously half Victorian, half half mm -hmm. South Australia. Well, that now is almost gone. Uh, the Victorian League now, my home, my old home club, where my family came from in Millicent, just won their third in a row premiership in the A grade and reserve, so I'm pretty happy with that. But, but, uh, but the, the Western Border League, which was a very strong league, was decimated after COVID, and uh, and uh, I think uh, that league and, and other leagues like the Mallee and so forth, it, COVID killed a lot of clubs, and uh, it, it's one killed of those, a lot of things. Yeah, it? killed yeah. a lot of things, and unfortunately, volunteers are the the background bone of uh, what we're seeing today. I mean, I don't think any of these uh, Wollonga volunteers today have worked, been here since about six o'clock and probably in preparation and getting everything organised. I know the guys have been delivering uh, drinks and uh, alcohol and food. I think they've sold out of pretty much everything at the moment. So it's, um, they work their, their bums off, excuse my French, but, uh, and uh, if it wasn't for them, this wouldn't happen. Okay, well, I mean, uh, there's a lot of things that wasn't for the, the volunteers that yeah, wouldn't happen. Yeah. I think yeah. football in general wouldn't happen if well, it wasn't for volunteers. I mean, you're a volunteer, Kevin. You've done, done 45 or probably mm. 50 odd years of volunteering, and, and, it, and for people like you, we're very blessed to have you uh, and had you the last 40 odd years for this league because this league was just a very small league when you took it over. Yeah. And congratulations on your retirement. But. Uh, Thank you very much for everything you've done for the league because it's been a lot and a lot of people don't know how much you've done. <laughs> Thanks for that, Terry. My pleasure. And I think it's about time now we weren't here All because right, I can see the teams have run out there. They're in a hurry to get going. We'll again, go Terry. the Demons. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, well, you can say what you like. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for what you've done Thank and you. Um, good luck to the, uh, your team today. Thanks, mate. Cheers. And this... This is 90.1 Happy FM Great Southern Footy, Match of the Round, on air and YouTube. Happy FM's Half Time Hub, brought to you by FP Ag. We're in your field. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Florio, they're in your field. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over. Let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot. That's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at prostock.com.au. 
Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist, featuring SA Made Bedding from Sealy, AH Bed, and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal, and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding. Why here? Okay, back. Uh, you start. I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, we're underway here, and we've got off into attack quickly in for the third quarter. Malunga into attack. McLaren's repelled them. They go back in again. Up they go. Two players went up. Interference, and I reckon it could be a free kick here to Malunga. Yep. Yeah. Front on, going on to there, and it finishes up out there. Redden. Yep. To With the food Station coming to Ponson. Jed Redden. Nine past four at uh, Happy FM. Back to uh, Wollonga. Wollonga Oval. Third quarter, grand final 2023. Commentators Kevin Curran, uh, Ian Curran and Trevor Pryor. Thanks very much and we go off. So Wollonga now gone out. Redden went out and find Meagle. Meagle's gone out and he's picked himself up into there and got himself there to Daniel Lee. So Daniel Lee now for Wollonga coming out into there is to pick up and go in and have a shot here. The first shot at goal here for the third quarter. Malunga kicking to the right of screen. Or going down towards the, the end of the Yankalula Maiponga area. Lee comes in, looks pretty good. Umpire looks, he's looking happy. He comes in, he signals Lee. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au with uh, umpire marks just waiting for the the center square to clear and play umpires to get in position comes in and bass and laurie will go at it bass grabs it out of ruck gets a kick away but the umpire the says he's uh, given a high fend off i think it is yep and a free kick will go here to mclaren goes to to uh, Redigolo. Redigolo goes to Moyle. He goes long looking for Ellison and Mutton. Mutton tries to run onto it, but Ellison does. Ellison runs onto it, snaps around the corner, puts it straight through the middle, and as they've done all day, they Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au Harder and more consistent now too. It's not much in it, like I said, you, you look at it, it's still not an insurmountable score, but uh, yeah, if they keep replying like that, which they have done all season actually, McLaren, so good on them. So this game could be seesawing around, which we hope and expect it goes right down to the wire. Umpire back in the centre, up they go, comes out, Bass gets it again this time, tries to go off, comes out, that looked more like a throw out from that one, comes back out though, comes around to Redden, Redden goes out, up to the full forward area, out they go, comes to spoil over the back, comes off into it, they run into it, everybody's interested in the bodies coming and not the ball, they turn around, stacks on the mills here, and it'll be a ball up on the forward flank here for Wollonga. Sets himself again. Goes up, goes out. Oh, on there. Turn around. Meagle tries to get it, goes out. Comes straight out into there to uh, Rennie. Rennie can't get up. Comes back over. I guess that, that should be going for holding the ball. 
Mm, had a chance to yeah, get rid of the, the chance, back in, didn't he? Yeah, had the chance, and then he tucked it back in underneath him. Should have been pinged, but he hasn't. And it'll be a ball up on that forward flank once again for, uh, for Willunga in their attack. Up they go. Goes back down the ground, comes in and out. Pack a player, socket off the ground, goes out wide, picks all over there. Charla comes out, he goes over, gets Colwell. Colwell goes down, he ducks down, he goes around. The umpire's going to hold the ball here. Pick him, you can tell him. Even they look around, have a good look, and it goes out of there and groves with the ball for McLaren Districts. Uncertain where to go. He's looking inside, he's looking out. Now he looks out and he goes out wide. Goes out wide, he finds his player up there. Up and down, spoil come. Comes around quickly out onto there. Goes off, he gets up there. Finally gets a kick forward. Goes up to the wing, over the back. Turn around trying to get out of it through there was Ellison. Couldn't get it all out. Ball comes out right. Mills goes out wide. He goes, comes out through there. Wollonga get it. Comes out on the tackle and she goes over the boundary line on the true wing position in front of the club up there. Bit of push so, and shoving going on there behind. And we've got a free, free kick, kick here to McLaren. Yep. I think it was Ellison Redden that time. Yeah, it looked a bit like Redden on the, uh, on the mark. So I was just trying to pick up onto it. But uh, yeah. So Ellis with the ball now for McLaren Districts. He goes off, drives this one up, right up the forward flank. Out they come, up and down. That's a strong mark there to McLaren's and he's paid. Winded himself if he's come down. That one there, it's not Martin. Ellison. Ellison. Ellison, yep. Yeah, so just slightly different body shape. Martin's more of a mutton shape, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> a bit more beef around the shoulders on him, but uh, yeah. So they're both the twin towers up there, aren't they? Yeah. Hard to, when they're both playing, they're uh, well, pretty uh, tough for opposition defences to have two big blokes to stand them. Yeah, he's kicked two, one already in this quarter. Comes up, drives it up. The umpire's moving. He doesn't lot like that, and it goes through for a minor score. So they go to four goals. Well, hard to see in that scoreboard now, isn't it? So going on to it. So ball comes back in here, and uh, Meagle marks it for Wollonga. He goes across the ground looking for Scott, and Scott, well, not Scott. So that is uh, Scanlon. Scanlon will go short and finds Redden, and Redden out uh, on the defensive 50 here for Wollonga. He comes back into Mills, and Mills takes a mark there from. Had five kicks here and they're still uh, where they were for the kick out as Hoke marks it now. Comes out to Meagle. He's uh, attended there by Groves. Picked up by Scott. Scott handles it over or to Tregenza. Player thought better of giving him one to go on with. And comes down here to Jukas. Jukas goes long down here looking for Lee. But coming out in front was Green. That was touched off the boot. As uh, Hutchins rips it out of his, tries to rip it out of his opponent's arm. Um, but got tackled without the ball and he will take a free kick now from the 50 metre line I oh, know, the umpire's balled it up I thought we had a free kick there but no as Meagle and uh, Daniels go oh, for that one on too long. Well, <laughs> another one grabbed yeah, without the ball and they're having a, tough to a, tough. Fair, a fair wrestle on the ground now that looks like, no we've got a free kick here to Redden's going to win this one. He lost the last one, and uh, this one, he's uh, won the free kick, and he will kick it in from the logo here on centre wing. Goes into the pocket, looking for his brother. Strong grab, and he will go back, and uh, I reckon that's Jed Redden. Yep. Will go back now from about uh, 25 metres out. Pretty tough angle, but uh, if it's probably an easier kick than it would be from the top side as we saw in the first and second quarters here uh, from that scoreboard pocket. So uh, Redden will need to, needs to put this one through to keep Wollonga in touch in this one and comes in. Distance won't be a problem, but uh, comes in, goes bang, puts that one straight through the middle and Wollonga get their fifth goal of the match. They go to Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shed X Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shed X Flurio. 
From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au To that one, we go back now to getting that one goal closer than we were at half time. Set back in the centre. Up they go, goes up, Bass gets it, pushes it all out, goes out wide, out comes Haskett, Haskett puts it forward, up they go, can't get out, Burdett goes around to Laurie, Laurie goes out wide, looking for Moyle, Moyle picks the ball up, goes out wide to the wing, goes out there and he finds his player out there. It's on the, uh, just well, his true wing, just slightly on the defensive, puts this one right up the forward lines, up they go. Martin can't get it in front. Tackle comes in, goes high, and the umpire saw that one was right in the pocket there, and goes for a free kick in the back lines. Comes out here, I reckon. Two to play. Scott for Wollonga. Scott, yep, goes over. Saw the five and couldn't pick up. Knew it wasn't red. Goes over. So comes up. McKay picks it all up. Goes off there. Now he finds Mutton, and Mutton takes it in front of his eyes. It's going to be a long, big kick for him. He needs to be accurate on yeah, this one. Yeah, he need one. to dress this one up as lamb, won't he? Yes, certainly will. Turn around. So we wait for him to come back onto here. He has got that flags even dropped away over there, Ian, so there's not much assistance there now looking at that. So he'll come in. He'll kick from inside the 50. Just. So he goes up, puts it up. That's a good, strong kick. Looks all right. The players are happy. The umpire comes back. He indicates it. And once again... Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies have over 40 years' experience in mining and blending soils and organics. We're specialists in turf soils, landscaping and organic blends. Customised washed sands for horse arenas, sports grounds and building sands. We also have a large range of decorative stones, gravels, mulches and pine barks. From car trailers to all truckloads. Wholesale Quarry Direct. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies... 86 Sandmine Road, Mount Compass. Open Monday to Friday, 7am to 4pm and Saturday, 7am to 11am. Phone 8556-8421. As the ball gets thrown up in the middle, Redden come, tries to go through with it, can't get a handle on it. Ball picked up there and the players tackle the McLaren player well and we will have another ball up right in the middle of the ground. We've gone nearly 12 minutes of the third quarter as the umpire puts the ball aloft no one, no one gets near the ruck tap there as the players dive back in on this one. And two player, player from each team look like they dived on that at the same time. Umpire agrees. And we will do it again. So ball up. Ball still in the middle of the ground. Probably 15, 20 players around this one. Ball gets tapped out there well by Bass. Coming through there. Full oh, Wollonga with a throw. big... Uh, <laughs> not sure how that one came out. And there we have... Well, well tackled was Redigolo. Redigolo put a good tackle on. Didn't slam the player into the ground there when uh, he probably could have. But uh, did it well. And we'll have a ball up again. Almost in the middle of the ground. And Bass, another good tap down here, finds Burdett. Burdett gets it across to Altus. Altus to Tregenza. Tregenza to Jukas. Jukas plays on quickly on that left boot. Kicks it into the middle here. Looking for Redden. Redden out of position. Puts a good spoil on. Running onto the ball here for Wollonga is Hutchins. They should make no mistake. And he doesn't. And Wollonga. They... Get a step closer. FP Ag, the name you can trust for all your farm needs. FP Ag Rural Supplies has the knowledge and know-how to help you improve your production with expert agronomy advice for your pastures, hay production and broadacre cropping, fertiliser advice and spreading, animal health strategies, fencing needs, expert viticultural advice, livestock sale options and they also offer an on-farm delivery service. FP Ag, with five fully stocked branches across the Flurio. They're in your field. As I said, so it's a game that's been seesawing. We expect it to continue on. Back in the centre. Up they go. Laurie goes up. Bass gets it. Goes down. Comes Ellis. Ellis gets shoved forward. Gets the hairball out though. Crowd screams for it. Goes straight out there to Fennedy. Fennedy goes up the forward line. Comes out defensively out there is Scanlon. Scanlon steps off, goes off inside, puts his player under pressure out there, and that's Tregenza. McLaren's right on the mark, turns around, and he steps under that scoreboard, drives it back into the back flank, up they go, comes over the top out there, 
comes round to Charla. Charla spins around, drives this one back up forward, goes off there, running backwards over there is um, um, turn around in Scott, Lachlan Scott. He goes off, just kicks it over the head, but short. Turns around, picks up through there, Hoke. Hoke gets it off to his handball, comes out to the wing side, out they go. Too high on Laurie, turn around, turn around, there it goes. Bass should have got caught for it. He turned around, goes there, and he has got caught for holding the ball and comes back to Laurie. Big fly from Drukas there, and he come down and hurt himself yeah, in first, that one. Yeah, hit his head on the ground and uh, yeah, laid there for a while. Laurie now for McLaren Districts, puts it all up. Up they come, Mutton comes out, can't get over to it, and she goes over the boundary line for a throw-in on the forward flank for McLaren. So right on the 50-metre arc here, club room side, right in front of the Wollonga crowd here. They're up in arms. They're not whistling Dixie, I can tell you. So, turns around, up they go. Goes over there. Can't, Ellison can't get to it. Comes around. McLaren's picked it all up. He gets rappled up. Crowd yells for holding the ball. No way to have any opportunity. So we let the ferrets out here of the crowd. And they turn around. There's only one thing they know in football. That's ball. So here we are, still on that forward flank. Umpire throws it up. Over they go. Comes straight out through the back out there. Goes over. Comes out there. That's off the boot and touched, you know, umpire holds his hands up, so, yeah, indicated, but didn't indicate his touch, so, uh, but, uh, yeah, so anyway, it's a ball in by the boundary umpire, puts it up beautifully, up they go, pushed out there by Ellis, gets it, goes over, he gets tapped, he did the swan dive, he can't get around to it, and it comes over the line here, and we've got uh, another throw in right in front of our crowd here. Max Gill, bit of cramping coming up. Boundary umpire puts it up. Up they go. Ruckman goes up. Smack across the ear there to Laurie. He turns around. Ellis gets up. He does a pile driver. He goes for a touchdown. But it doesn't count in this game. He turns around, gets up onto there. It goes in. It's Charla. Charla gets up. Goes back. Laurie goes up. Bass, that's got to be a free kick. He put his <laughs> knees in and he put his arms all over his neck in the umpire stand. And he says, play on. As I said, it wasn't one, there was two I saw, but it goes up and repeats and they get it going. So, so it's Shervington against Laurie. Uh, Bass against Laurie. Up they go. Laurie gets up onto it. Can't get down to it. Now he goes down. Picks it all up. Goes out to Redigolo. Comes back. Aldous throws that ball out. Comes over to Marcus Burdett. He goes off. Up high. Spoil comes from behind. Goes over. McLaren's trying to get it down. They get it out in the back. Comes out there straight away to Rennie. Rennie goes out forward. Out they come. McLaren's take that in the back line defensively. And goes over quickly over there to Daniels. Daniels goes out wide. Finds his player out deeper still. That one there could have been... Bolognese. Bolognese, was it? Goes out wide. McLaren's with it. Got plenty of times. Just needs to use it. Kicks it in the man. Goes back in again. And that's Groves. Groves come back inside. But it goes over to Wollonga. Wollonga goes over to Haskett. Haskett drives this ball up in the full forward. Out they go there. And it's turned around. It's a safe mark out there to Green for McLaren's. Here comes Clubroom side. Goes out. Just gets in the spot. Marcus Bird dead on the mark. Goes back around. Vandeleur, I reckon, could have been. Comes over. Oh, oh over too far. Got his touch on it. Hasn't gone out. Redden turns around. And he gets onto it. Could have gone almost close. Colwell gets it. He goes off. Goes in fine. And he finds his player in Rennie. Rennie goes off there now, puts it in up there, over the top, Leaves can't get to it, turn around, goes off, comes back in, over to Moyle, Moyle for McLaren's, drives this ball out the flank, he's turned around, told to go on by Ellis, goes out wide, looking for Charla, Charla goes out, sits nicely for him, backs back in, not a smart oh, move, good go on for holding the ball, <laughs> and there's a chest punch, and guess what, he's going to lose this, Reverse it around, chest punch on the ground, and they turn around. Silly. Oh, he saw that and went and spoke to him. Spoke to him about it, and then turned around and left him with a kick. Not good umpiring. Yeah, the real chest punch in the ground. And he turned around, he saw it, ran in, chatted to the player, and then turned around and still let the kick hold. <laughs> that one was pushed over up, like unrealistic jump at the ball, and it would be a free kick to McLaren's in the back flank. Haskett throws it back and doesn't get to... Uh, over, goes oh, over, kick. Ellison gets to it, comes out quickly, goes around to Green, I reckon. Green drives this ball up from McLaren, right up the forward flank, out they go. Mills gets it and he takes it on the back flank. 
drives off, comes out and finds a star player there in uh, Hutchins, uh, sorry, in uh, McDonald. McDonald comes over the wing, over the flanky, comes over to Burdett. Burdett gets the ball, drives it up here to Colwell. Colwell goes off in, he turns around, takes it just in front of the boundary line. On the back flank, told to go going. That was not 15. <laughs> that would be, oh, Hot Dog was longer than that 15. So anyway, goes over now. He goes back in, goes inside, and he finds Mills. Mills misses the handball, goes off though, picks it up out there, and goes out quickly to Scanlon. Scanlon goes out, and he finds this player still out in the back flank. Well, Unger, go out wider now. Go straight out, finds this player running out into there, and that could be Shervington. Goes off, drives this ball right up in their forward flank now. Out they go, comes up there, and there it is, Redden. Redden comes out. He'll be outside 50. He'll have to kick from 55. Probably just a bit too far. Drives it up, puts it up in front of goals. Up they go. Over the top, unrealistic on it, goes down. Turns around. Handball comes out the back. Kicks off the ground over there. Couldn't see who that one was. Into there, Ian. Uh, turn to... Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist featuring SA May Bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding and uh, find themselves just two points down so we're within a kick here to heading into time on of the third quarter as the ball's back in the middle again Shervington in ruck now opposed to Ellison ball hits the deck no one can get a handle on this player is ta well tackled there and the umpire will come in and uh, we'll have a ball up back in the centre of the ground Wollonga crowd starting to get a little bit of voice now. Get a little bit excited in this one. As the ball comes down to Charla. He's well tackled by Bowley. And can't get that one out. The umpire will come in and ball it up again. So we're in the middle of the ground here. They bathed in sunshine. And it'll be interesting to see how the players run this one out. Haven't played on a, a day as hot as this since the start of the season. Ball comes across to Moyle. Moyle gets out wide. He goes out looking for Daniels. Can't. Haskett overruns the ball. Comes to Gill. He's tackled by Cowell. Players dive in everywhere there. And eventually the umpire will come in and ball it up. In front of the uh, the big McLaren contingent on the centre wing. As the umpire will get this one, get it going again. As Shervington gets a tap down here. Looking for oh, Altus. High. And the umpire says... He was infringed upon, and he'll come up with a free kick. So, Altus on centre wing here for Wollonga. Now called to go. Goes long, looking for Redden. Redden gets one hand on the ball, can't get two. Picked up there by Daniels. His kick is smothered. Comes across here to, not sure who that Wollonga player Redden. was. Get Got a handball out. Eventually goes over the boundary line without being touched. And that was definitely a handball, so McLaren will kick this one in to restart the game. Comes across here, that's Hopkins for Willa, for McLaren. He, or Smith, sorry. He goes, called to go, finds his teammate there in the middle in Groves. Groves goes back now and has player running for him here in uh, Hopkins. Hopkins goes out further wide. Oh, rides a big bump there. Goes out wide to Moyle. Moyle goes long looking for Charla. Comes across to Merritt. And Merritt He's got it, I reckon. dribbles this one through. Goal umpire comes back to the centre. It's a go. Memories of those special moments in life can sometimes fade over time. Preserve those special memories by having your old VHS tapes, movie films or slides transferred to DVD or USB. Phone Steve Adams Video Services now on 0403 744 or check out the weekly classified ad in the Flurio Sun. Steve Adams Video Services will also live stream weddings, funerals, conferences and seminars. In fact, any special event. Steve Adams Video Services for all things video. To him and the read off was really good by especially by a tall man too. So back in the centre once again. Into time on we go here. 
Up they go, in the middle, nobody really gets it. Turns around, gets up and into there. Comes over there, quickly click out on McLaren's, go forward. Comes out there, Charla going out after it. Turns around, same one there is Scott. Scott goes out, they get wrapped all up and it'll be on the forward flank for McLaren's. Into attack. So we turn around, we get up into there, we're into the 24 and a quarter mark here in the blood rule. Blood rule. So we've got 24 and we've had 26, 27. So it's getting close towards there. A couple of minutes left. Blood rule will extend it by a bit more. As I turn around, the players are finally now at least are running over the chain so they know. So, yes, going up. This is all bending around for a really, really good last quarter. This is what we expected and this is what we get. And it's anyone's game here. So turn around, the player gets over there and they set themselves up there now and the umpire calls time back on. Up they go, out they go onto it, over the back it goes, come out onto it, can't over it, kicks over his head, turn around, there's a smack around the head, the umpire turns around and says play on, the player's still down, Colwell gets it for Lunga, drives off up the flank, goes over the top, turns around, can't get down onto it, tapped out further, Lee gets it, he pushes all out, Altus gets up, he wraps up the player, and it should be a, a ball up on that forward flank for Wollonga. Yeah, it was a pretty head, heavy one over there in the open, <laughs> the umpires missed it because he stayed down for a long time, so it was a fair whack. Up it goes, over there, pushed it all out though, comes out through to Shervington, can't get it out, goes over quick to Rennie, Rennie goes forward, goes off onto there, puts it all down, McLaren's put it all out, Jukas couldn't get it, comes over quickly, turns around, gets his kick, goes up on the flank out here, goes over his head, turns around, runs onto it, handball's wide, not really to advantage, goes over to Hope, Hope gets it for Wollonga, comes back out over there, goes over there, Meal, and it turns around to be a, a ball up here by the boundary umpire, in front of the club rooms here on the Wollonga Oval. And it goes, it's a longer chain exchange there. And it goes, throw up goes, goes up over the top. Shervington can't get to it, comes back out, comes around quickly to Brown. Brown kicks the ball forward, out they go. Zohar goes after it, he can't log, goes into it, pushes all down. Rennie gets it, goes straight back into Redden. Redden, Redden goes off, Tack comes out, goes Free over kick. there. Free kick hanging on, and he comes around, he's going to come out here to Daniel Lee. So, Lee gets it. So, Lee now rolls up directly in front. Put the curse on him. Should not miss this one. Well, the sign might go before he kicks this, Trev. Yeah, it could do. He still gets his kick, though, but uh, he doesn't play on around the mark, so he comes straight in. He doesn't spin out. Rolls in, he's going to kick from probably around the 35, so the distance really is not a problem for him. Accuracy goes, goes up, goal umpire, no great problems with that. He's happy, so turn around they now. Don't be the next victim of a home invasion. Pull over, let's rub this joint. Great Southern Security will install a home security system with monitored alarm to protect your home or business. They also provide CCTV, mobile patrols, cash transit, event security and a test and tag service. Looks like this place has got its own secretary. What do you mean secretary? That sign. You idiot, that's security. This place has got an alarm. Visit greatsouthernsecurity.com.au Ball gets thrown up, comes here to Red, Redigolo. Redigolo goes down looking for Groves. Running onto it is Ma. He gets a handball out to no one. Comes to Ellis. Ellis fighting hard there with Hutchins. Hutchins breaks a tackle, runs away, kicks it long down to full forward. Uh, goes through the hands of Jukers. Running onto it, there's Hopkins. Well, Hopkins ducks his head into a tackle. Gets a lux of fortune, gets a kick out here to uh, Redigola, he gets a snap around the corner and uh, comes to Brown, Brown goes to Meagle, his kick is smothered, uh, Ellison picks it up here for McLaren, he breaks a tackle, his kick smothered, goes over the boundary line and out of bounds, right in front of the, uh, the change room side here of the Wollonga Oval and we'll have a throw in. As the siren goes to end the third quarter and we've got a, we've got a cracker here We've got a big last quarter coming up from the Wollonga Oval. Two-point lead on the FPAG scoreboard. 
bit eight goal seven to McLaren, eight goal five Wollonga, and we're set for a cracker of a final quarter to end this season, Trev. Sadly, we'll do. We'll go for a break here and get our breath back in here, and we'll come back with a goal kickers before we start the last quarter. This is ninety point one Happy FM, Great Southern Footy, match of the round on air and YouTube. Let's talk about your new shed. You want it tough. You want it to look good. You want it to last for years. You want Shedex Flurio, the experts in design and construct. If you can dream the shed, they can build the shed. Dream it, design it, build it with Shedex Flurio. From initial design through to finished construction, your project is in trusted hands with Shedex Flurio. Quality workmanship and experience you can trust. Shedexflurio.com.au Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Do you want instant cash? Drop off your deposit bottles and cans and scrap metal today at South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots in Victor Harbour, Goolwa and Yankalilla. South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metals Depots offer undercover drop-off facilities and the Goolwa Depot is open seven days a week. To see opening times, the latest prices and the items that can be dropped off for recycling, visit southcoastrecycle.com.au. With over 180 years of farming family know-how behind us, ProStock Livestock will help you with all your livestock needs. ProStock will get you the best price for your livestock when buying or selling, and will even help you muster and transport them. Wherever you are across the Flurio Peninsula or anywhere in South Australia, we'll offer you the highest quality, professional yet personal service. So give ProStock Livestock a call to discuss your needs today. Visit us online at ProStock.com.au. Thank you very much for that to Ian back there in the station as we turn around like we said here going on two point difference here at uh, three quarter time we'll go through the goal scorers while the players and crowds are still around both teams here so at this stage for McLaren districts we have Brett Ellis with two Daniel Marr with one Jordan Mutton with one Matthew Merritt with one, Sam Laurie with one, Cody Ellison with two. For Wollonga, we have Daniel Lee with two, uh, Jack, Jed Redden with two, as Cameron Hutchins got two. And we have Job Colwell and uh, Sam Reddy with a singles and a turnaround, so that gives them out there. So certainly a tight game, very hard to pick a best player is pretty well spread around today which you expect being such a close game that uh... hi Ian Wright here from 90.1 happy FM here we are grand final day in great southern footy for 2023 congratulations to the league from everybody at happy FM 100 years of local football is just wonderful we've been part of it since we started as a radio station 29 years ago kevin karen and the boys kicked it off on day one and we're still doing it now of course on the radio and youtube via our website happyfm.org.au we can't run the radio station despite being a community station with lots of volunteers putting an effort without our sponsors because like any business we do have bills to pay with football we are so very proud and very thankful for our regular sponsors and some newbies as well people like mary and the crew at beachside betting port elliott road at Haverhill. wonderful people great clients and solid supporters of football fp ag five locations there in your field across the Furio Peninsula. They are great supporters of uh, Happy FM football, YouTube and radio coverage. We thank them. Victor Tire Power, long time football supporters. Uh, Graham and Deb, Caleb down there. They are right into local football. They're a great organisation. And obviously we recommend them for your next uh, tire, battery, whatever requirements for your vehicle. Shedex Flurio, Michael Schubert runs an excellent uh, business over there. And again, they are very reliable, honest, ethical, 
people who really get right behind the community in a big way. We thank them for their support of Happy FM, both on the radio and with our YouTube coverage of Great Southern Football. Royal Family Hotel, Cameron Hallett and his crew, they've been with us for a long time on the radio and YouTube. Cameron, many, many thanks for your support. It is appreciated. Hospitality's gone through some tough times of recent years, but he's hung in there with us, and we really do appreciate that on behalf of our listeners and our viewers. New this year is actually the president, Grant Levy, and his team at uh, South Coast Recycling and Scrap Metal Co. They're at Yankalilla, uh, also Goolwa and Victor Harbour. Thank you, Grant, putting his money where he's, at least it can, where his mouth is. Uh, great supporters of football, and of course, Grant is the president for this 100th year of Great Southern Football. Finally, a Great Southern Security Service, they're based in Goolwa, they cover the Florio Peninsula and beyond. To, to Ian and Michelle and the team down there, we really appreciate you coming on board this year as one of our new sponsors on football. It is much, much appreciated and they are an excellent firm for your security service, whether it's big, small, domestic or commercial. So again, in this 100th year of Great Southern Football, thank you to all of our sponsors from everybody at 90.1 Happy FM. On behalf of the Great Southern Football League, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for this year's um, support, um, especially our major partners, um, Fleury Milk, and uh, all our other partners as well. This weekend, obviously, uh, we're celebrating 100 years um, of the Great Southern Football League um, with our grand final celebrations at Wollonga, and I'd like to welcome everyone here, um, but also on behalf of the Great Southern Footy League, um, like you to enjoy the day as well. Thank you. Martin goes up for it, goes down, trapped there by McLaren's, can't come out with it. Now they do, swing it out wide, goes off hand, Laurie lets it bounce around, can't get around to it, comes out the back, kicks forward, goes right now up in the full forward position. Up they go, over the back, comes out there, running onto his Willunga, puts it over to Meagle, Meagle handballs off again, goes over, out wide, turns around, picks up there, had an opportunity, did he? Players are screaming for it, the umpire's there and said, no, I'm happy. He turned around, he grabbed it and then was tackled and be a ball up on that half-back flank, club room side. McLaren's into attack, Ellis laid it on there, goes up, goes out, straight over the head of him, goes over the top, goes over, still in here, goes over, quickly picked up, goes out to the Ruckman, can't get it, picked up by Redden. Redden goes forward, over the top there, there's a mark out here to McLaren's and that one goes there to Jamie Smith. Smith goes over, finds Ellis, Ellis drives off, always looks for a player, goes out, can't get to it, picked around quickly onto there. It's McLaren's, puts it all over, can't get onto it. Wollonga gets up there, he gets wrapped up, he's thumping it, making it, making it look like he's trying to get an effort and the umpire's happy with that. So, still at that centre half forward position. Not free oh, kick. He's waiting for a free kick. Oh, couldn't see that one, but still, out he comes now. Brown, Brown out through the club room side. Still inside that 50. Turns round, goes to step off. Should be called to play on. Goes now, comes up the wing. Up they goes, and that's an easy mark. Unconcessed there through to Shervington. Shervington spins around, drives off, goes right up there. Now up in the forward flank for them. Green gets over it, comes out the back here, goes out to Moyle, he can't get it. Green comes back into attack, he gets in on it. He'll be lucky here if he, he doesn't get it. The umpire's Ooh. right tucked in there, can't see it, and he turns around and comes in for a, a ball up. So, Altus, the yellow card boy, gets up, turns around, right in that 50 metre arc, club room side, up they go, out they come out through there, goes off. Rennie gets it out, goes out wide, comes over the back. Zohar can't get it, comes back out there. He handballs through. Everybody's screaming for deliberate. Of course it was deliberate because he was under pressure and you're allowed to do it. So <laughs> goes off for another minor score there to Wollonga. They go now to eight goals, six on the FBX court, eight, seven McLaren. Yeah, one point game here is, uh, looks like Smith with the ball here for McLaren goes to the top side of the ground. Haskett there in front, Merritt comes over the top, has two grabs at it, comes up with the mark. So Merritt here on the halfback flank, he's uh, looking as to where his next move's going to be. He goes short, real short, just finds his teammate. Did he mark yeah. that one inside the ground? Did he have, two, gra up, yeah. Did he have two grabs at it? I was thought it was two grabs. was the second one, we, we can't really see the line from here. And uh, that player is McKay. McKay goes short as well. 
and he finds a teammate there and uh, that looks like Gil. Gil goes long and high down looking for Ellison or Laurie. Uh, ball's punched away from both of them. Comes in to Haskett. Haskett's picked up. Haskett's well tackled. Gets the ball, spills out and then player p is tackled again there. Lowy gets the ball out. Player there is Redigola. He's tackled by Altus. And the umpire will come in and uh, we will have a ball up. Last time we saw that was a yellow card on that one. Yeah, it wasn't, as, uh, <laughs> wasn't quite as... wasn't It was, but it, it, at that time he was a little bit uh, less uh, with the tackle. So anyway, comes down here. Ellison comes out. That's a big bump there. to um, Big fella and a little fella. Meagle and Ellison. They clash. Ball goes long down here and into the goal square. And taking a mark Part there for longer. And is uh, Merritt, Merritt back back there and, uh, well, hit the ball, hit him in the chest, took a good mark and he'll go back to give McLaren a, to reinstate that uh, seven point lead and give him a little bit of breathing space at uh, nearly five minutes of this last quarter. So important kick here for Merritt. He's already kicked uh, a couple, well he's kicked one today. Going for his second goal. Uh, comes in from uh, distance, not a problem. Only the accuracy. And goal umpire doesn't move. Merritt puts gives Wollonga at back that, or sorry, McLaren back that seven point. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies have over 40 years experience in mining and blending soils and organics. We're specialists in turf soils, landscaping and organic blends. Customised washed sands for horse arenas, sports grounds and building sands. We also have a large range of decorative stones, gravels, mulches and pine barks. From car trailers to all truckloads. Wholesale Quarry Direct. Mount Comfort's Quarry and Landscape Supplies. 86 Sand Mine Road Mount Compass. Open Monday to Friday 7am to 4pm and Saturday 7am to 11am. Phone 8556-8421. Here he comes, sets themselves up. Ruckman set themselves, up they go, up they go, comes out there, roll, Bass gets it, finally just gets a kick to it, Ellis gets the ball out, handballs it back, finds out to Moyle, Moyle goes to Green, Green back to Ellis, Ellis sidesteps around as he does, turns around, goes up, almost into his mark, turns around, gets wrapped up into there, turns around, goes down in there, that one there was Ma, Daniel Ma, and it'll be a ball up on that forward flank. So this is where they need to stand up every player here. You can't rely on too many with them. Umpire says, get out of my road and go up. Up they go. Laurie gets it all out. Come on! Oh, there's another fend off and high again. Redigolo puts it all in. Turns around, gets a free kick. Off he goes quickly, drives it up to full forward. Gets out onto there. Turns around, Charla can't get to it. He turned around, he hasn't done much. Comes back around into here. Goes back over. Comes around on the ground onto here. They turn around, trying to get out on there. He tries to make an attempt. He can't get out to it and the umpires comes back in for a... Still in that uh, full forward position. So it's all McLaren's here now. Can they make a six-pointer out of this one? Up they go. Goes up and down. Goes out. Over the top. Comes out around here. Goes over. Turns around. Quickly picked up there. Goes handball. Goes out. Moyle gets it. Turns around. Drives off. He kicks this ball. Inside out. Goes over. Turns around. Goes over. Turns around. Quickly picked up into there. There it is. Goal kicker from the last one in Matthew Merritt. Umpire signals a goal. And there's... Beachside Bedding next to Habra Pharmacy is your local sleep specialist featuring SMA Bedding from Sealy, AH Beard and Adriatic Slumber. Mary and her team at Beachside Bedding also offer a beautiful range of locally made Flurio furniture. Beachside Bedding offers free delivery and old mattress removal and is open Monday to Saturday at 295 Port Elliot Road, Habra. Always competitive on price with real product knowledge. Beachside Bedding time that Wollonga may have the momentum but uh, well the first two goals of the last the of the last quarter of the final quarter have got gone to uh, both to Merritt from McLaren as the ball back in the middle and uh, Shervington in the ruck now for Wollonga ball comes straight down players dive on it and we will have a, another ball up here back in the straight in the center of the ground and uh, players will reset there's still a, a number of players around the ball here as uh, Laurie gets a tap down here straight to a teammate who is well tackled 
and we will have a repeat. We'll do it all again. And Shervington and Laurie will get to uh, compete once again. Ball goes up, tapped down by Laurie. Players wrestling for the ball, and we will have uh, another ball up. So a uh, bit of a stalemate here in the middle at the moment. More players creeping into the middle as uh, Shervington gets that one down. Straight to another contest, and we will ball it up once again as we go past nine minutes of this final quarter of the Great Southern Football season. As uh, Shervington taps this one over the top, Ellis running onto it, pursued by Altus. Altus pushes him out the way, gets a kicker, quick kick around on the left. How's this one going to bounce? Bounces to Vandalua. He's pursued by Dukas. Just pulls him down as he gets it, but he manages to squeeze a kick and find Ellis, his captain, on the chest. He goes short and finds uh, Redigolo. Redigolo comes out now wide. Can't find a teammate in on the chest. This one's gone to Hopkins. Hopkins pursued by Redden. Gets a kick away as he lands. Oh, Ooh, and Green, Green took a strong mark there as uh, Meagle was coming across in front of him. And, uh, well, that took some courage and uh, come, took a good mark. Ball out now to the half forward flank here. Ma picks it up. He kicks it into full forward here. And ball goes through for a minor score. So Wollonga, uh, McLaren go to 10 goal 8. Wollonga 8 goal 6 on the FPA scoreboard. As Certainly is. Ball quickly brought in by Wollonga. Goes off. They come over there and go back the other side. Find this player out there in Shervington. Shervington now drives up, kicked in the man on the mark, goes over, goes off, comes around, quickly picked up, goes over, Hickley over here to... Um, That's uh, a free kick. Haskett, and it turns around, goes off into it. So we finish up there now. Goes back here to the back flank, and it comes over here to Redden. Redden for Wollonga. It's on that back flank. Uh, sorry, forward flank for them. Goes up to full forward. Puts it all up over the back. Green smashes it away. Comes back down to Red and his brother. He kicks it all over and slams it into the post. So that's his first score too, Redden. So they go to eight goals, seven on the FPA scoreboard to McLaren, 10-8. And uh, Moyle doing the kicking duties now for McLaren. He comes here to the uh, change room side. Just kicks it inside that 25 metre arc. Out looking for Ellison. He's up in front. Hutchins behind, picks the, runs onto it, gets a handball out here to Brown. His kick is smothered, comes across to Ellison. Ellison gets a kick away before he's tackled. Ball comes down to Merritt, having a hot last quarter, runs onto this one. And uh, Merritt gets a kick into full forward. No, and running out here in front, looks like uh, Groves for McLaren. Snaps around the corner, Oop, misses. misses. And McLaren go to 10 goal nine. Wollonga, 8 goal 7, 14 point lead to McLaren on the FPA scoreboard. Looks like Burdett with the kicking duties here for Wollonga. Yep, comes in, finds his red and he runs one hand, it couldn't get it, dives down on it, now goes around, two under one, oh. down, that's holding the ball, took his time, go out, and they turn around, they've gone on advantage, goes to Meagle, Meagle handball's just got to it, turns around, gets off to it, the late tackle comes out, it'll be a free kick, to, oh, it's Mark paid, yep, to going off to McLaren's. McLaren's now, finishes up to Vandalour. Vandalour gets the ball, the player on the mark's come over that far, <laughs> I can't laugh about it. He turns around, Vandalour comes out, finds his player out in the back here, and Smith. So Jamie Smith, McLaren's with the ball here, controlling it, still a long way to go, so you've got to be careful, can't eat too much time when you've still got heaps to go. He goes off, up to the side, up they go, comes over the back, quickly picked up by McLaren's, drive forward, marked in the defensive blind out there in uh, Scanlon. Scanlon for Wollonga, goes out, finds Haskett, Haskett right in the back pocket now, he's been shut down though, and he has to go back. So now he gets called, play on, goes over, far side of the ground. Plays it up now, goes up into the back onto there, up and down it goes, comes up quickly, there's a park for push around, it'll be a Wollonga free kick. We go back, turns around, goes into there, could be Scott, I reckon. Yep. So Scott with the ball for Wollonga, it's on that back flank, drives it out towards the wing, goes up, over the back it goes, up and down it comes, goes out quickly, picked up there by McLaren's, he gets tackled, gets wrapped up. He turns around, the umpire comes in for a ball up on the wing position. Right in front of the big crowd here. Spread all the way around. Certainly enjoying this game no matter who you barrack for. 
Up they go, goes up there, pushed all out there, goes quickly around, picked up over there by Daniels for McLaren's. Drives off, goes forward, up the toes. Sharla can't get it, hasn't really done much today. Picks it all up, goes back in, signs it, goes around to Ellis. Ellis breaks it, drives it all back, goes back into his player, goes off. He drives it forward, goes up in the forward lines, turns around, goes over the back to Mills. Mills slaps it forward, goes through for a minor score. So McLaren go to 10-10 on the FBAG scoreboard. Willinga 8-7. There's Daniel Lee runs off with a limping with that ankle. Ball gets kicked in here. Good spoil there from uh, McLaren. Didn't get it interfere with the Wollonga player. And the ball goes over the boundary line and out of bounds. And be thrown in in front of the McLaren faithful on the outer side there of the Wollonga Oval. Ball gets thrown in now. Um, get player in front there was Laurie. Ball comes down here to Hutchins. He can't get that one away. Eventually he gets wrapped up. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. So we've had two goals in this last quarter, both to McLaren. 14, nearly 15 got a, minutes gone. They've got a 15, they're hanging on to a 15 point lead at the moment. So uh, better be in front at this stage of the game than behind. So anyway, big tap down there by Wollonga. Come, ball comes here over to Meagle. He squeezes a kick out, but Vandalua in the way there for McLaren. And uh, he'll repel this Wollonga attack from the halfback flank plays on now kicks on the left goes long down the line looking for Merritt and why wouldn't you with the quarter he's having so far Haskett picks it up he's tackled and the umpire will come in and ball it up so the more time they eat up uh, these ball ups there's no time on when the, the umpire balling it up so McLaren very happy with this style of footy at the moment ball gets kicked high by Haskett Redden out there over the top can't mark it comes to Ellis he ambles it across here to Daniels Daniels into the into well that one was Mutton hit him on the chest ball spilled out comes down now here to uh, running onto that's Charla for Willung, for McLaren his kick was smothered and it runs over the boundary line and out of play so big chance there for McLaren and if they kick that one well you would think it might be curtains for Wollonga with, uh, well, if, unless they get the next one uh, to kick four goals in the last ten minutes of a grand final is pretty tough stuff. Comes to Ellison, he's wrapped up and the umpire has no choice but to come in and ball it up as the shadows start to come across the Wollonga Oval and uh, that sun would be pretty tough out there at the moment from, uh, from the position the players are in. Balls, players wrapped up again there and we will have uh, another ball up. This and uh, the hands of McLaren, uh, and they've got it in their forward line, which is better suited yeah, for they, them, isn't uh, it? McL Wollonga going to have to do something here to, to, if they want to come away victorious. The last time the grand final was played at the Wollonga Oval, Encounter Bay broke a, a long drought for a grand final, and uh, well, probably a seven or eight year uh, drought, and uh, beat, uh, well, probably longer than that, beat Wollonga on their home turf. Now we look, well, more, uh, Gill runs onto that one from the ball up, puts it through the middle, and well, Trev, that's just about curtains. Well, it's going to... Victor Tire Power are your local one-stop shop for all tyres, wheels and batteries. Tire Power are Australia's biggest independent tyre retailer, which means you get the power of a big range of the big brands, expert advice and lower prices. Get the power of a local owner and operator. Get the power of great service that keeps you coming back. Get the power. Victor Tire Power, 161 Hindmarsh Road, Victor Harbour. Got themselves and they're going to make it hard. Wollonga yeah. put Jack Redden's gone to full forward, so you've got the, the two Redden boys up there, so hoping to get this one straight out the middle and up there. Let's see how they go. Back in the centre, up it goes, comes out, baskets it, and he just booms it up into full forward. Up it goes now, up and down it goes, over the back and green marks it there defensively for McLaren's. Turns around, all they have to do is spot, pick it out there, goes off, and he finds out there, Rennie jumps in on from there at Wollonga and gets it. He drives this ball straight back in again. Up they go, Rennie goes off, misses it though. She goes through for a minor score, and they go to eight goals, eight on the FBAG scoreboard to 11-10 McLaren's. Yeah, big chance there for Wollonga, but uh, Moyle will bring this one back into play for for McLaren. Runs his full distance, goes out uh, in front of the uh, commentary box here. 
Paul gets uh, tapped over the line there by Gill. He runs that one over and we'll have a throw in here in the, uh, the late afternoon sunshine here at the, the Wollonga Oval. And uh, well, there's probably, it won't be a long quarter because we've only had three goals kicked so far, but Wollonga need to really do something now if they're gonna win this one. Rennie runs onto it, goes long into full forward, looking for Hutchins, Vandaloo over the pack, can't take the mark. And Green runs that one through. And uh, well, that uh, probably would have been paid in the AFL, but it won't be paid here in, in the Great Southern Football League. Yeah, and on the perceived, isn't it? He's under pressure. FPA Scoreball Wollonga, 8 goal 9. McLaren, 11 goal 10. As they turn around, McLaren get the ball. They drive this ball back here to the flank here, up in the back. Up they go. Bash uses the body block on it. Turns around, gets up to it. Everybody in for Wollonga screaming. Anything to do with holding the ball, and they want it. But they ain't going to get it because it doesn't exist. So, turns around. Moyle gets up, stretches himself, goes back down, stretches again. Comes back up here on that forward flank, club room side here. It goes up, up they go. It goes over the back, top up two. It goes off there, goes over the boundary line for a, another throw in by the boundary umpire this time. As we've gone to 20 minutes now. So it's getting shorter and shorter here and harder for Wollonga. Need to make a quick inroad here. Out they go, up they go, Laurie goes up, gets turned over, over the back, turns around, McLaren's gets it, Wanga crowd's getting angry, they want holding the ball, you've got no chance, they don't care, they just want a free kick. Umpire gets up and he's even laughing, he's got a huge grin, up they go, turn around, Bass goes up, Laurie goes up, comes over to Meagle, Meagle's kick smothered, comes back out, comes around to Rennie, Rennie's kick goes out of bounds, under pressure, on the full, but it's in the back pocket, it'll be a relief and kick it. Rennie gets up saying, oh, I want a kick, oh, I want a kick. Well, you had one and you put it out, so keep quiet. So, back pocket, Zohar with it. Gets the ball, drives this ball straight back up for the big men. Laurie goes up, Bass goes up, over the back, picked up by McLaren's, goes off. Gill gets it, turns around, goes up, puts it off. He drives it up now, goes up, it, under the mark, under the, goes under there, Mutton. Mutton takes it, take your time. You don't have to rush. Goes out there, spots the player running out wide, goes out wide. That's the one you don't need to go out. Quickly come out through there. Is Wollonga out there. They go into there in Scott. Scott goes out, finds his player on the back flank. Now they go out. Spoil comes from behind. Goes out there. Colwell gets it. He gets it. He drops the ball. Turns around, play, and then he appeals for Holden, the man. Oh, he should have been the other way. Goes off, under pressure here. Goes up and down. Comes back into the pack, goes out. Vandalur gets the ball off to Ellis. Ellis will spot a player up. He turns around and he does. Up on that forward flank for them. Well, Wollonga really had to score with that last 4A forward, yep. didn't they? Um, so Matthew Merritt with the ball. He's kicked the last two goals. He turns around. He'll take his time. I think he's too far out. He's well outside the 50. All he does is put it right up here in the pocket. Boundary lines have good set. Oh, Mutton. Grabs it in front, and he takes a strong mark in front of Mills. And he will, he's taken that at the 22-minute mark, so let's see how long it takes him to kick this one. Yeah, he'll, he'll take as long as it takes the umpire to say, move it on. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the, um, having a, playing in an A-grade grand final on your home ground has not proved uh, to be good luck over the last few years. No, it? it's, it's, you looked at all the history, it's like, well, one in ten years to go if you can play in it, but no, there's been a lot of sides, it hasn't been an advantage, and that's why the clubs have said... Let's do it. So anyway, he comes in and he misses it. So they go to 11 goals, 11 on FAG scoreboard to Wollonga, 8 goals, 9. As we've gone, oh, we're well into time on now. 22 and a half minutes here as Haskett goes straight down the middle here. Really what they have to do now. But Green, Green. stood tall all day. And well, I, I think this one's all over, Trev. Yeah, and McLaren I will be to the 100 year premiers in the Great Southern Football League. I don't think there's any doubt about that now. Ellison up in front. He's taking a mark. And, well, he's going to eat up as much time as possible here. And, uh, well, there's been three goals kicked in this last in this final quarter. McLaren have kicked them all. They hold a 20-point lead. He's trying to make it 26. Whether he does or not, I think uh, yeah, the results, well, the have, results run, out it, of, have run out of time. Yep. So... Made, made a big inroad that third quarter, but couldn't go on with it. They haven't scored this uh, up this end, which I thought it would have been. Ellison comes in, puts it through the middle. That's it. It's all over. 
McLaren will be 2023. The hundred memories of those special moments in life can sometimes fade over time. Preserve those special memories by having your old VHS tapes, movie films or slides transferred to DVD or USB. Phone Steve Adams Video Services now on 0403 744 or check out the weekly classified ad in the Flurio Sun. Steve Adams Video Services will also live stream weddings, funerals, conferences and seminars. In fact, any special event. Steve Adams Video Services for all things video. How many did they want? They won the last two, didn't they? Coming up uh, in the other one. This one's in the third one. It comes up in the free kick here to Laurie. Oh, uh, yep. They turn around. They had back to backs last year. The male medals going on and going into it. So, no, well, under 121 was at Yankalilla. Well, under beat Langon Creek in 21. So, uh, back to back. Back to backs on them. So, it goes off into it. Anyway, they've looked like they deserve this. They wanted it from the beginning. Up it goes in the forward lines. Comes back out. Quickly picked up there. Goes over. Quick K comes over. McLaren's into it. Plops it all up. Right up in the full forward. Goes over the top. Touched it is. They turn around and Daniels gets a, another minor score. 12 goals, 12 goes to McLaren on the FPA scoreboard. 8 goals, 9 Wollonga. And it's just a matter of waiting for the siren now. Yeah, McLaren celebrating now. Wollonga just want the siren to go so they can get off the oval. And, uh, well, that's what it's like in a grand final. There's no, no tomorrow for the losers and the winners celebrate as the ball gets kicked out here by Wollonga. And McLaren will kick this one back in. So... Um, ball gets. Yeah, it didn't look like this will be touched, so, yeah. Zohar so and a dominant performance by McLaren in this last quarter. Looked like they might be gone at three quarter time, but uh, as they did in the second semi final, showed why they've been top. And uh, as Zohar kicks it down long down the wing, wing looking for Bollenhagen, gets his hands on the ball, comes to Hutchins, he handles it. Balls go. Well, player slips over there. Ellis. And uh, Ellis, he's not going to care whether that one goes. He's happy for it to be over the boundary line as we've gone nearly 26 minutes. So I'll let you call this one out, Trev. Okie dokie. Right in the forward pocket up here. McLaren's goes up. Laurie goes out. Goes over the back. Rigolo goes over. He got a shove. And Rigolo's going to get a free kick. So he'll go back, he plays off time, comes out wide and he finds his player out wide here in Jamie Smith. As there goes the siren. So turns around, goes over at the 26-20 in the last quarter. So it turns around, McLaren's have ran out winners 12 goals, 12 on our FPA scoreboard to, uh, uh, to uh, Wollonga on 8 goals, 9. So certainly a deserved win. They basically led from the start all the way around and uh, certainly did need that win to come up. So good going on to there. As we wait, they'll all come in for their celebrations to wrap around. McLaren players are up into there to go onto it. Four goal kickers will go through here. I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile hanging on for you uh, back in the studio later, Ian, because uh, we put the uh, mic out onto the outside and it's very, very hard to pick up and hear what's going on. So you may not be uh, good enough quality for you to pick up to get anything out. I don't even think it's going to be good enough quality for the YouTube viewers. So goal kickers for the day for uh, McLaren Districts. We have 3 to Cody Ellison, 3 to Matthew Merritt, 2 to Brett Ellis, uh, and then we have singles to Daniel Ma, Jordan Mutton, Sam Laurie, and Max Gill. And for the defeated Wollonga side, very hard for them to get around. They've turned around, they got 2 to Daniel Lee, 2 to Jed Redden, 2 to Cameron Hutchins. And we've got uh, one to Job Colwell and one to Sam Rennie. So in the end, comfortable win to, uh, to McLaren's over Wollonga. Previous games here, right from the beginning this morning, Junior Colts, McLaren Districts, 13-7, Wollonga, 1-2. Senior Colts, Encounter Bay, 3-4, Maiponga Selix, 4-14. In the reserves, Wollonga 8-9 and the McLaren Districts 5-9. And into the A grade, McLaren's 12-12, Wollonga 8-9. So McLaren Districts have won two previous...
premierships in their grades, juniors and the A grade. Uh, Wollonga won the reserves and uh, my Ponga Selix the senior Colts. So they were spread around pretty well to all the sides that's around. So I don't know what will go on. We're still waiting. The cart comes around. Like I say, and it's going to be very, very difficult for us to pick up uh, any uh, audio for going on the presentations because the speakers are so far apart. So Just whilst we've got a moment, uh, Trev, um, it would be remiss of myself and everybody at Happy FM not to thank uh, both yourself, Kevin Curran and Phil Paker. Very historic day, your last day of commentary after many, many years of hard yak with the station. Uh, to you and Deb, we wish you all the very best in the future with your travels around the country. To Kevin Curran, who retired this morning from the Saturday Sports Show. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Been here since day one, way back in, uh, when was it, 1994, I think it was, 16th of April. Been here on the radio with the Sports Show and the footy commentary. Phil Pate is uh, retired from carting the caravan around from location to location. He's done that almost since uh, day one as well. So, Trevor... Kevin, Phil, to you and your wives, many, many thanks for your huge contribution. Also, uh, thank you to Ian Curran, who's done a sterling job of commentary over the last uh, few weeks at Happy FM. We really do appreciate your input and the, the current name lives on. And we will, for the record, have a presentation to each of the three guys, Trevor, Kevin and Phil. Uh, 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 a significant presentation of appreciation for 90.1 Happy FM. So, fellas, many thanks. Your, your voluntary efforts are much appreciated by us, the radio station, and all of our listening and viewing public. Thanks very much, that, Ian. Yeah, like I said, it's been a pleasure. It's been good, but, yeah, time to go it was on. Uh, I was fortunate enough to be able to put a uh, little notice in the... Uh, grand final budget here so uh, if anyone reads it uh, also my uh, thanks to everybody involved with me uh, it has been a family like you said at uh, Happy FM it's been a pleasure to be in it they're a great group everybody around right from uh, past and present people have been good and my thanks to the clubs here that have helped me over the time with uh, organising team sheets etc it has been enjoyable but yeah like you said it's time to go on as I said in the budgets Memories last a long time and I've certainly had a lot here and uh, I'll never forget them and uh, thank you Ian, it's been a pleasure uh, you know, to wrap mine up with you for these uh, final series here and uh, you've certainly done a great job in the insight with the umpiring side and everything to go on. It's been uh, really well for us to uh, learn even old dogs new tricks. <laughs> Thanks Trev and uh, yeah, best of luck to you and Deb with your future endeavours. Yeah, yeah, like I said, we'll be around, but yeah, come winter time, it's uh, getting the old bones get rattly, so we need to get away, and uh, for Tony for him getting in, and of course Steve upstairs with the camera work, he uh, hasn't had much of a relief over this long period of time, we have had a, uh, you know, a uh, relief one for him, so he can get a bit of a break on it, so to go, but uh, we thank him very much, so, uh, but uh, yeah. So to go on to that, it's always been a pleasure and, uh, yeah, look forward to uh, hearing and watching it on uh, YouTube and the uh, radio stations when I'm around. So it's certainly a great team effort here, isn't it, from everyone works together so well. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be a part of. It certainly is. We turn around, we have Megan has snuck her little self into the back door here and she turned around and she's a little bit disappointed to turn around and get on but that's football but they certainly made a good show of it you'd have to be proud of them so go on and how are you going well amazing thank you it's been a great day of footy so happy days oh, well done so yeah so we'll try to what do we do tony we're going to uh, try to see if we can get some broadcast or We'll give it a try. But, uh, we'll give it a try, Ian. But like I said, we'll uh, we'll close our mics off here. If you uh, want to go, we'll set ourselves up with a microphone, hopefully to try and pick up some uh, coverage. So we'll turn ours down so that we don't get some interference back into the side of it. And uh, yeah, so if you find it too awkward for you into there, thanks very much. So we'll just do a quick little sign off and uh, yeah but uh, for the YouTube viewers will go on hopefully you will be able to hear the presentations but this has been happy uh, 90.1 happy FM great southern footy match of the round and obviously the grand final on air and YouTube and thank you very much thank you very much Trevor Fry for the last time at happy FM we will monitor down the line the audio uh, check the quality from Wollonga to see if it is 
applicable for the radio and come back in just a moment. The Royal Family Hotel in the main street of Port Elliot prides itself on having a family atmosphere.
Number five.
has been a presentation from Victor Harbour's 90.1 Happy FM.